Access granted.
We are gathered here today to remember a beautiful soul. Nafsale.com has passed and left us far too soon. Gone, buried, donezo. But we will not soon forget the legacy that was generated, that was created by the power of Nafsale.com. They will be missed, but not for long because nafsale.com is now Blade Binge. That's right, Blade Binge, new name. Same beautiful product. You all know, you all love it. It got me a swimming pool full of knives. It got me a mansion. It got me luxury cars. What else do you want from a website? The sheer power of what used to be called nafsale.com, what is now called bladebinge.com, is overwhelming. In this economy, in this day and age, what you need, you, I'm looking at you, is to set up a Blade Binge account. Sell knives, buy knives, win knives for free. It's easy, it's beautiful. Built by professionals, unlike myself. I just look like one, this is all a farce. This is all a lie. Everything you see here, it's not even real. It's not even real. Go to bladebinge.com, the first link in the description. Buy knives, sell knives the easy way. Your kids will thank you. Well, 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 we got the real deal. We got the hot, we got the good crew in today, baby. Only 50 of you, but it's a, it's a powerful, it's a very strong 50. It's a, you carry a lot of weight. This 50, these 50 beautiful uh, people in front of me, Betty Davis eyes, Rawhead Spear, SG Man, Anissa, Blade Walker, Isaiah Barnett, Paul FTW, Paul Might, both the Pauls, two Pauls, not one, one's never enough. Double the Pauls, double the fun. You know what I'm saying? Very good to see you, dude. Uh, let me get that. Demonock, Kinman, Dan Kinman, Tyler Williams, freaking Willie B, Clint Crosby, Lone Star Towboy, Crazy Roach, MK Khan, on me, me too. I'll always make that joke. Try and stop me. Dog on Mountain, how you doing, man? Rawhead Spear is here. Friggin', uh, we got Blade Binge official. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, you doing? Hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you doing? Hey, <laughs> hit me with a couple pieces of gabagool. Do me up real nice. Cabeche. Jay Demeter, what's up, dude? Uh, Joe Casper, good to see you, man. We got uh, Rene, Rene Ramon, Denise Witek, freaking Jesse Lee B, freaking Marty, Marty Poo, Knife Eclectic. Good to see you, Martin. We got uh, My Journey, Lord Jehovah. Hot crowd, Arrow Velocity, freaking uh, who else? Who else is here? ATK. Everybody's at work. I get it. I respect it. You know? We've all, we got, we got to do it. We got bills to pay. Isaiah, I already said hi to you. Hi again, I guess, Isaiah. Jeez, God. Boomer, what's up, man? Boomer got into that Discord, baby. Boomer seen the little teaser shots. What do you think, Boomer? Just a hot take. Just a yes or no. I want your hot take. Uh, we got D-Dragon. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Be Shady, what's up? Time to eat. I actually had breakfast today, which is nice, you know? I had breakfast, and then I brushed my teeth. Pat, you know, I, I always forget to brush my teeth in the morning. I'm, I'm a monster. I don't want to do anything in the morning. You know what I mean? Lounge around in my sweats. But here we are. Uh, I'm not at work today. Still sick. Will be. Do I need to ship you some vitamins? Some vitamins? I got, what do you need? Oxys? What do you, <laughs> what do you need, dude? What do you need? Here's what you need. You ready? Nice long, a nice long nap. Good one, a good one. I'm talking, I'm talking 20 hours of sleep a day. You got to live that cat life to heal your aching bones. Kyle, what's up, man? Uh, getting a button lock barber on Saturday, dude. Oh, mwah. so good, so good. God, that knife slapped so hard. Kaleidoscope and eyes, what's up, man? Uh, knife Knut 69 is here. What the f? No notification. Hey guys, hey man. Hey you go. Hey, hey. Michael Keppel, lurking, but may be able to occasionally comment. Definitely listening. Well, as long as you're here, that's all that matters. Bless knives. How does one forget to brush their teeth? You gross. In the morning. Dude, forgive me. Forgive me. In the morning, I'm not going anywhere. When I had a day job, when I had like a real job, dude, I always forgot to brush my teeth in the morning. Are you kidding me? I had to get, I got up at eight and I was out the door by like 8.10. Pants on, deodorant on. I'm a night, I'm a night shower guy. I do all my beauty, my beauty stuff in the in the evening. It's just nice to go to sleep feeling crisp and clean. You know what I'm saying? 
Steven Wallace, what's up, dude? Uh, Fob Doodle, Chef Rocky. Chef, I sent you an invite to the Discord. I don't know what your deal is, pal. Oh, no, you're in there. You hopped in. Just took you a minute. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, Mark Ridgewell, how you doing? Good to see you. Who else we got? We got people filing in. Nice, fast, go somewhere. No. I have nowhere to be. This is my... I live here. This is my home. In this... In this... What is this? Like a 10 by 12? What is this? Probably like a, like a 12 by 12 room. This is my home now. This is where I live. <laughs> Big ball guy. I didn't skip you. How you doing, man? Good to see you. K-Whale's here as well. Good to see you, K-Whale. Good to see you, you sweet at. Ah, uh, you fucking sweet at. Don't worry, I'm here. I would... I Dude. Zuck it. <laughs> Zuck it. I brush my teeth like four times a day. What in the fu... What? What are you, a dentist? Four times a day. Are you... Do you have a disease? Like... Four times? Dude. Wh Floss. Floss, brush, mouthwash. Once a day. Okay. Chew some gum or something. Jesus Christ. How do you have time to brush your teeth four times a day? Do you just have a toothbrush on you? Just keep it. Is that part of your EDC? A little toothbrush? Keep her in the pocket? <laughs> Does it have a pocket clip on it? Can we get a can we get an EDCable titanium toothbrush with interchangeable heads and a pocket clip? Has that idea been done? Has somebody done that? Scotland! Scotland! What's up, Scotland? Good to see you, dude. For those of you that don't know, Scotland is is the uh he's the technical he's the technical technical portion of Blade Binge. A lot of you probably met him at uh Blade Show Texas. Sean Bats, hello, working remote today. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Probably not good for your teeth. So what, brushing four times a day? Like, I can't even imagine you have enamel left over. How do you have any... It's just... just. There's no enamel left. It's all gone. It's all gone. To be fair, my toothbrush is one of those Philips Sonicare, you know, just like rip the teeth out of your face kind of jobs. Two minutes. Dude, I'm feeling dentist fresh, pal. Let me tell you. Care putting invisible fence on coal. I won't say where, but the shot collar's on him. It's around my ankle. Uh, you live in that room. Explains the covered bucket. Eh, well, I thought that was out of frame. <laughs> Whoops, you caught me. That's mental. Yeah, four times a day is a little much, man. Four times a day is a little much. Two, I can understand. Morning and more, right when you wake up and right before bed. Because a lot of tomfoolery happens in your mouth at nighttime. You know what I mean? If that exists, it'll be on AliExpress, probably. Probably be like a nickel. Oh, I don't like my mouth feeling gross. Also, yes, when I had outside the house job, I EDC the toothbrush. What? I don't like my mouth feeling gross either, but I don't know. Maybe I just have great genetics. Or you have OCD. It's one of those two things. So it's can't, there's nothing in between there. Nobody wakes up and chooses to brush their teeth. Your third ankle. <laughs> Nobody wakes up in the morning and is like, great day to brush your teeth four times. <laughs> is it just like every time you eat? You're just like, fuck, God, get it out. Oh, God. You like this hand gesture? Oh, no. Mine, too, vibrates my teeth out in the shower. Yes, in the shower. Ooh, that's a power play, man. The shower toothbrush. I've I've shaved in the shower once. I bled all over the place, so I'm never doing that again. My face. My face. You filthy people. You filthy, dirty boys. Joe Knife Guy, what's up, man? Um... One Moon, how you doing? Jonathan Watson, what's up? Uh, I've never brushed in the shower. I don't know. Brushing your teeth, hot water and brushing your teeth just doesn't... I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Now we have three Pauls? Jesus Christ. It's it's too many. It's too many. We need to send the Pauls into the Thunderdome. Let them fight it out. I'm a recently retired dentist. Four times is a little over the top. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Twice a day, as long as you're flossing and using a good mouthwash. By the way, pro tip, floss before you brush, dude. Game changer. Game changer. Um, waffle stomps. <laughs> uh, you just got the Tuya Mutt. Congrats, Ron. I don't know what that is. Now I need to wash out my brain. Yeah, dude. You're welcome, Casey. That's what I'm here for, pal. I'm here to put, put things in your head that you don't want there. They're in my head, so they might as well be in yours. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, we got some new rivals, but we don't have 100 peeps in here yet. I'm gonna ruin these freshly clean teeth with this. Also, just to, let's do a poll real quick. When was the last time you guys went to the dentist? Like, how long? When was the last time you guys went to the, den the dentist? And then I'll tell you my answer. We'll see who wins. Tell me the truth. Don't sugarcoat it. This is a safe space. Zula Whiskey with the 10 bucks. Thank you, man. Serial hobbyist. Enamel's overrated. Enamel's over. Who needs it? Who needs it, dude? You just, you know, who needs it? Just get fucking. Oh, the gamer sup. So the titty milk's going to be here today? Hell yeah, dude. I'm drinking the mango, whatever. I don't know what it's called. But it's not called titty milk. Two weeks. A good two years, Isaiah. All right, all right. Five plus years. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. A few months ago, two weeks, one year, like two months, three months, four months, like 15 years. Okay, all right. Twice a year, six years. All right. Okay. I don't feel so bad then. Seven months when I was 17. I'm 44. <laughs> What was that 27 years 27 years damn boy damn boy i gotta tell you every six months i'm scheduled for tomorrow well if you're a retired dentist that checks out uh i guess it's not high on my financial budget um especially now that i don't have insurance at all no health insurance so uh a lot of duct tape and super glue and and sewing needles in my future but um Tomorrow, Michael. Wow, Mimo, look at you. Look at all these healthy boys. Fop Noodle, about 11 years. <laughs> so I got to think, probably, I am 31 years old. There's Zulu. Appreciate it, man. Where's my tinkly bell? Get you a little belly button action, too. You know you like that. What do you think about that? Huh? A little belly shot? You like that? Tinkly bell, Zulu whiskey. Thank you, man. Um... What is health insurance? It's very expensive and I can't afford it. Um, and it didn't never did me any good anyway. Every, whenever I, well, except for the whole lighting myself on fire thing. That, it did me, it did me okay with that. It did me okay with this. The, you know, it did, did all right there. But no, it didn't really because I still ended up paying like eight grand out of pocket. So, no, it didn't. Um, health insurance is a scam. Anyway, uh, <laughs> at least in America, it's a scam. Um, probably... Probably when I was 22. So nine years. Nine years since I've seen a dentist. I've always had great teeth. I've always taken care of them. You know? In 22 years, I never once had a cavity. I never once had anything to be concerned about. All four of my wisdom teeth are fully grown in. I said, leave them. That was the last time I was in there. So yeah, probably 22 years old. I said, leave them. I got all my wisdom teeth. Little, little nubbins in the back of my jaw here. Guess what? I'm fine. I'm fine. What do you think about that, MK Con? Still got all my... I, I still got all the wisdom. My mouth is so full of wisdom. I'm chocked full of it. That's why I'm... Big brain. Big brain, extra teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's no big deal, really. It's no big deal. I can get you in free, but you're gonna need to travel, Tyler? Look, pal. Actually, I know a guy who's a dentist. I went to school with him. But I don't think he practices anywhere near me. So that kind of sucks. I should go more. I mean, my teeth definitely show, like, early signs of staining. They're not stained, but a good cleaning every six months goes a long way. Isaiah Barnett, you didn't you didn't know this story? That I've been lit on fire? Not literally. I got drunk and I fell asleep in a fire. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. Um, yeah, so there's... So it goes all the way up my arm. The scars. So there's one. This is one. It's like barbecue grill marks. All the way up my arm. Uh, yeah, dude. I, it was my friend's uh, bachelor party. And we had a fire. And I was drunk. And may have done some other things. And I fell asleep next to the fire. And I woke up to pee. And I just... <laughs> I just stood up. And went fa face first into an open fire pit. It's a good time. I just laid there for, you know, 30 seconds or so. Just cooking, simmering. I just felt like a good simmer, you know. It was nice. It was a cool night. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, 20... 
18 maybe there's so the pictures i was his best man the pictures from the wedding i have my my whole arm from my hand because it like melted big portions of the ends of my fingers too my whole arm was just like wrapped up so that's pretty cool full suit i could barely get into the suit jacket it was a fitted suit but it wasn't fitted for me to have like three inches of gauze all the way up my arm uh made for a great story though you know uh but yeah yeah it's funny like my 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 flesh was like hanging off of my arm when we went to the hospital uh it, it was like 2 a.m for whatever reason hospitals are popping off at 2 a.m i didn't know this i didn't know this until 2018 but literally sg man it looks like grill marks now um we get to the hospital and i'm like yeah my arm's kind of messed up and uh and i showed him and it was just black and it was bleeding and it was there was like flesh hanging off of it and uh and they're like okay well here's some tylenol go ahead and take a seat four hours four hours they they just let me sit there just steaming like steam still coming four hours didn't didn't see me 2 a.m at a hospital in ohio you're invited to all my parties knives are life i throw a good one pal uh <laughs> um four hours dude you would have thought that place was just chock full of everybody's having a heart attack i should have been like oh my chest hurts and also my arm's falling off but my arm was literally falling off i look like a goddamn peeled banana dude that had been recently lit on fire it was uh yeah and then they took me back and they're like "Ooh, <laughs> ah loaded me up on morphine to be to, to clarify the situation, I had been drinking at that point for 12 hours, 14 hours of just drinking all day. And, uh, yeah. So then they loaded me up on morphine, <laughs> just a shitload of it. And I was like, it's funny, I don't really feel it. And they're like, oh, that's because you've melted your nerve endings off. You're gonna feel it. Don't you worry. And I was like, okay, doc, whatever. I was feeling good. I was all zooted up. And, uh... <coughs> <laughs> and they didn't do anything they didn't do anything they like gently like dabbed off the dirt and the soot from the fireplace um and then like wrapped it up and gave me a, like a month's supply of opiates and said go see a uh, specialist <laughs> i was like okay great so we i think we got home at like 7 a.m 7 a.m so I had just been up for like 20 hours and on fire burning for like six of those hours. It was pretty cool, dude. It's pretty cool. Yeah. American healthcare is a joke. <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. And then I ended up costing me eight grand. Still haven't paid it off because I, why would I? Right there. Right there, you know? <laughs> Sup suckers bench made gold class coming in any minute now. I'm like a GD puppy sitting in front of the window waging my fucking tail love us guys. <laughs> Look at you, gold class. What model did you buy? Depending on the model, I'm going to judge the living shit out of you regardless because you bought a gold class Benchmade. Strike one, chef. Love you, man. That's strike one. Strike two is going to be what model it is, but I love you. Anyway, still going to roast you, but I love you to death. Um, Kazoo Dan, ow, Kazoo Dan, what's up, man? Your heart thing was 30k? Yeah. I mean, I think all in this was like 20 grand, but my deductible was $8,000 on what I thought was a good health insurance plan. Yeah, okay. Cool, thanks, pal. So yeah, that's uh I still have $8,000 in medical debts that I just am not going to pay. Fuck off. You know what I mean? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> um I'll sue you. How about that? For not seeing me in, in, a, in a reasonable amount of time. Go to the hospital in an ambulance. Only way to get him fast. No way. Then get charged another like two, three grand. No, thanks. Hard pass on that. Hard pass. Low country. Hill Billy. What's up, dude? Barry. Barry, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. We got a hundred in here so I can, we can stop talking about, you know, lighting myself on fire and we can talk about knives. Um, I got two spicy hot new rivals yesterday. Spicy. My two transplants. Two? Two? I've never had to have surgery. 
I did explode my my right leg and my kneecap when I was in the seventh grade, eighth grade, seventh grade. Um, that was cool. But uh, no surgery, thankfully. Even though I fractured my growth plate, my legs are both the same length. It worked out great. A plus. A uh, couple of new arrivals. First off, a little purple box came in from uh, something obscene. I played with this at Blade Show, and I had I had to own one. It's the f oh, dude, the Nimly. This is the the new the new version. They literally call it the new version. Liver and a kidney. Shit, dude. Wild. Are you ever gonna pay that off? I guess is the question, Blade Walker. I would say sorry. You know. Whoops. Bill my estate when I die. <laughs> How about that? Uh, dude, the Nimli. This is the one with the copper-infused shred carbon, the copper-coated blade, which is just absurd, and then the black wash uh, lock bar side. Oh, dude. This thing's so sick. The lightning bolt flicking hole? I mean... Barry? Your knife comes tomorrow. Still have $275 needed to get you a free knife. Hint, hint, you cheap, which is more money. We can engrave a fillers on it. Pride flag, poop, banana, helicopter. Do not engrave a penis on that knife. God bless. I will have it modded. I will even, we'll do a Discord community poll where you guys decide what we do to the knife. But no penises. I want to be able to carry it and post it on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkly Bells, Barry. Love you, man. Love you, dude. Yeah, dude, this is gnarly. Absolutely gnarly. Uh, they had a big drop. Uh, I Apparently, I was like one of the last ones to buy one. This is number 98 out of 100. It's, dude, yeah, this is like the definition of something obscene. It's got a reverse compound ground cleaver on it. So, flat grind back here, and then a nice thin hollow grind out at the tip, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if I'm cutting thicker material, I'm using this section of the blade for more leverage, you know? And if I'm doing some dainty detail work, I need that nice thin point out here at the end. Dude. Medical drama, I'm here for it. Yeah, dude, this thing is sick. I put a dab of KPL Heavy on the freaking detent ball. Dude. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it makes me giggle. It's kind of awkward. The The lightning bolt, it works. Oh. Eh. But uh, it takes some getting used to. Ergos are cash money. Really aggressive jimping. Aggressive texturing back here on the copper backspacer. I just, I don't know. I want to see more color-coded blades. Like, from factory. From factory. You know, I know Benchmade does, like... Benchmade and Microtech have done, like, colored blades in the past. Um, but this is, like, a... It's... The, the box says... Copper FC. FC. I don't know what FC means. But it's, like... You can see the stone wash through. It's, like, a black wash. But instead of being black washed, it's copper washed. I, I don't know. It's weird. But God bless, it's sick. Also... Something hit me when I was filming this unboxing. I'm about out of live, so you and me both, pal. On-screen chat is frozen. No, it's not. Blade Walker's recent comments there. Um, I was unboxing this, and I came to the realization, because his logo is this. The fist, right? This is his logo. This is a really cool sticker that came with it. This is something Obscene's logo. His name is Felix. You know who else? Fart covered. Yep, that's it, Paul. You know who else's name is Felix? PewDiePie. Do you know what PewDiePie's logo is? A bro fist. It all makes sense. The pieces, the numbers flashing in front of my eyes, it all makes perfect sense. Something Obscene is a big PewDiePie fan. It's the only explanation. It's the only explanation. He, he's named Felix. PewDiePie's named Felix. His logo's a bro fist. PewDiePie's logo has always been a bro fist. His, what is it? His hundred million play button is a giant ruby fist. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It all makes perfect sense. Uh, and it blew my mind when I was filming that unboxing. It literally ripped my tits off. But yeah, really awesome. I think this was 375. 
He does, or he did have the Lek on sale on his website. The Lek, which I love. This was the first something obscene I ever bought. He has, mine's on skiffs. It's really scary. Um, this is on sale for two fifty right now. Like all versions. 250 bucks. Made by Rayot. Absolute behemoth of a knife. Full tie frame lock. This big, crazy, warny cleaver situation going on. I love this knife. I love it. I use it a lot and I touch it a lot. Can you tell? Fart cannon. <laughs> Hit him with the fart cannon. Also, dude, the Nimli came with a full set of extra hardware and an extra set of bearings. Something obscene. Doing the Lord's work. Shout out. Uh, I'm so sorry. I have... This is my the cup I've been using. I guess I'm a something obscene guy now. Even though I hate the J-Cape, which is probably their most popular uh, design. PewDiePie is the dumbest name. Look, I like, I like PewDiePie. Isaiah, you're too young to understand. PewDiePie was YouTube. I don't think you understand that. PewDiePie was the face of YouTube for a decade. When I was junior high and high school. Like, he was... He was, or probably when I, when I was in, when I was in high school, which is when you were like five or seven. N fuck. Jesus Christ. I graduated high school 13 years ago. Oh my God. So 15 years ago, Isaiah, were you even born? <laughs> CPM? Yeah. I think the J Capes I'll go, but I'm glad you're here CPM. Cause you're going to love this one. This is what, this is the title piece. This is the Ar 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 Arcona Buran. Uh, oops. Yeah, dude, this thing is sick. This thing is sick. This is the KNP edition. As of last night, I was talking to Levon. Levon, Levon lacks his money. Uh, I was talking to Levon, and uh, he's got ten left. If you go to KnifeNutsPodcast.com, these are three hundred. FC equals fart cannon. They stole your thing. Sons of bitches. We gotta sue him. We gotta sue him. Tinkly Bells. JG, thank you, man. Ron Dobbins, you graduated high school the year I was born. How's that make you feel? Dude, uh, this is sick. He's got 10 left, 395 bucks. This is literally a, a sub $400 Shiro. It's the only thing I have in my collection. It, my Shiro, F95 and L, is the only thing... Uh, yeah, CP, even CPM says so. It's a Shiro without the Shiro price. And it's got that GTC frame lock where the frame lock doesn't, it doesn't come all the way down. It's like pocketed and then you actuate it like a liner lock. So you get kind of the effect of a frame lock, but it's it's lefty friendly. Fucking, gen, fucking genius, dude. Action's absurd. It's a big knife. Uh, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Spydeco Pair 3 is big. You know, it's got it's got some length on her, for sure. Focus. Focus on the knives, you dinkus. Ooh, those caffeine shakes are kicking in, dude. <laughs> but uh, it's excellent. It is excellent. Uh, really cool decorative pivot. Very, very cool. Purple backspacer. Purple pocket clip. Purple pivot collar. Marty, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? See, I, I was a child of YouTube. Not a child, but a teenager of YouTube. I've always been obsessed with YouTube. So, that's why I live here now. Uh, yeah, these are amazing. He's only got 10 left. 395 bucks. I, you know, if you're in the market for a Shiro, but you don't want to pay $800, $1,000, 395 bucks. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, it's killer. This beautiful shred carbon. It's okay, and reversible clip. It absolute lightsaber too. Bench made Jared Ozer. Oh, you bought a um you bought the uh fuck, what's it called? Um The Tengu. You bought the full pimped out Tengu. You know what? I, I can live with that. I you know, that's that's a solid that's fine. I can live with that. Ukrainian, there you go. Freaking Ukrainian. You know the Eastern Europeans know their shit.
Love. Love, love, love. Wait, there's a new Spider-Co reveal catalog? We do need to talk about the Micro Jimbo. We got to talk about the... There's a 15V Micro Jimbo coming. And I am harder than the damn stallion. Do you understand? Cole, can you DM me a link for the Discord, pretty please? Anissa, of course I can. Uh, of course I can. My pivot... One little, one little caveat. My pivot's walking, so I have to... Uh, I have to uh, lock tight that. Dude. It's called the Arcona Buran. I'll give you a link. I'll link it up for you. Uh, the designer, Ivan Bragnets. Bragnets? That sounds right to me. He does a ton of stuff for Real Steel. Um, you guys know that um, the Pathfinder was like the folding knife with the Scandi grind? He designed that. So the same guy that designed this has designed, like, most of the more popular real steel knives uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Works with a bunch of custom designers. Uh, what am I looking for? Knife Nuts. If you literally just go to KnifeNutsPodcast.com, it should pull right up. There it is. Huh? K&P Editions. There it is. Dude, my zoomy function on my mouse isn't working. It's really pissing me off. The Arshi blows. Only 50 pieces. 395. Yeah, I'd say worth it. Very much. I, I uh, Zero regrets. It is bigger than I tend to like, but it's so light and carries really, really well. Clip works great. Braganets. Uh, fuck, you, you need me to spell it? Ivan Braganets. I think it's like that. Yeah, yeah, brag, I, nets. I'm a limb, Ivan Brugnitz. But yeah, he did the Pathfinder, he did the Havron, Havron, Hoovron. He's done a bunch of real steel knives. Like, all of them, basically. He basically is. Uh, he designed the rocket, yes, yes. But he's done a bunch of really cool stuff. But this one, uh, I was talking to Levon about it, he's like, dude... Uh, because I didn't really know anything about it. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty much made by the same people that do the custom knife factory knives and uh, and uh, the Shirgorov. Same same process of manufacturing, basically. So you get a Shiro for 400 bucks. And uh, yeah, highly recommend. Leader Cola, what's up, man? Paul might. It's a banger, dude. It's a banger. I really, really like it. And again, I can't get over this. The, I've never, again, I've never played with anything with the way this lock bar's cut out. Where it's just kind of bl It's like it's not even there. You can see it when you pop it open. It's just this little section right here pops in and that's the lock up. And then you actuate it with this little piece down here. So lefty friendly. I mean, it's it's just a badass knife. I, I really like it. I really, really like it. I'm glad I didn't pass this one. I really, I was going to. I didn't have a ton of interest in it. And then, kind of the more I saw pictures of it, and the more I talked to Levon, I was like, all right, all right. Okay, I want to check one out. It's just something different. And uh, I am not disappointed in the slightest. So, yeah, two banging new rivals. Um, if you weren't here Tuesday, which I'm assuming most of you were, these are in stock now, to just over 200 bucks. These are the new um, Mr. Mr. Design Phantoms. Hollow Ground M390, I believe, or 20CV. Either way, I think it's 20CV. 20CV, Hollow Ground Warney, little guy. It's like um, tactile rock wall size, front flipper, thumb studs, absolute lightsaber, contoured titanium scales. Love. Also lefty friendly and a reversible clip. 205 bucks, yeah, all day. All freaking day. Simple, clean, whoop, delicious. Delicious. Very dirty. Ooh. I've been I've been rubbing my schmutz on it. What can I say? I'm I was feeling extra schmutzy. The knife vet, what's up? Popping in before I take my fi uh, finite math exam? Finite math? Sounds scary a little aroused um it's a little arousing yeah if you guys end up picking one of these up 
reach out uh, uh, if if there's like notes when you check out, tell them Tri State sent you. I told them I would bring it up on the live stream. I guess you know I'm amazed they've lasted as long as they have. He only made fifty of them, and one that once they're wince whence they're gone, they shall never return. As far as I'm aware, like they do not plan on making any more of these knives in any variation. So I don't know. It's just a crazy good deal. JD for EDC, look, I totally get it, man. I totally get it. That's the other thing that's crazy, dude. This thing's cheaper than the new Sleege buoy. What? Like, I'm, it's just the price point that blows me away, especially now playing with it. Like, if you slapped a Shiro brand on this thing, they would sell it for $850, 900 bucks. Easy. No questions asked. CPM, I'm surprised he hasn't already. Yeah, not yet. Uh, oh. Oh. But yeah, if you guys end up picking one up, put in the notes. Tri-State sent me. <laughs> He'll get a kick out of it. He'll get a kick out of it. Um, But I think that's it for new rivals. When did uh, Barry say the sleeve? Is it going to be here today? Knife comes tomorrow. Perfect. Perfecto. Get you a green thorn. Uh, you know... I'd rather support my Ukrainian brethren, but there you go. You could get a Greenthorn Shiro, or you can get what is basically a Shiro for less than half the price. Yeah, get that get that test, baby. I want to see an A+. Knife vet, if you don't come home with at least a B+, you're grounded. You understand? T-Bone, I just want to make sure nobody ends up with the, with the, with the FOMO, dude. I just want to make sure you guys are aware of this. It's really, really good, and it's an insanely decent price for what it is. I just want to make sure everybody's aware. Everybody knows it's, it exists and that they're in stock, and there's only about 10 left. Or not about 10, exactly 10 left. It says sold out. Did you guys buy him all? Purchase right here. You can buy it. Oh, no! Here, I'll pop, I'll pop a link for you. I'll do my due diligence. I don't make any money off of this. I just, it's a great knife. I want you guys to know that it exists. Stop trying to talk me out of $400. That's what I'm here for. If only I got kickback on everything I talked you guys into, man, I'd be doing all right. <laughs> I'd be doing just fine. There you go. Link's in the chat. Have you seen the Finch Hellfire dropping tomorrow? Uh, nope. But I can look it up. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've seen it. It, it. Of all the Finch knives that they have released, I like this one the most. Uh, you know? I like this one the most. Go away. Go away. As long as you can really f open it with that fuller... If you can reverse flick it, I'll like it a lot. Um... Oh, sure you can. God damn it. Why the music? Can you reverse flick it? Reverse flick it. Bitch. Garbage video. Come on, man. Come on. Good price. 140 bucks. Sure. Yeah. Of all of the uh, Finch knives, I like that one the most. Am I going to buy one? Probably not. Probably not, but I do like it the best. I'm just not a big Finch guy. You know? I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Um, the Shiv was pretty cool. I like the Shiv. The Shiv and the, the Hellfire. Probably my two favorite. Mind of Milton, what's up, dude? Chris Wiedemeyer, how you doing, man? Nobody talking about the new K-Bar F-01? Truck dealership music. Yeah, Bill Bob. Yeah, exactly. I like to play the good music. You know? I pay I pay money to play that music for you. God forbid, if that company ever goes out of business and I lose the rights to that music, my entire channel will get demonetized. Every single video. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, like, uh, you know? 
I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it just, they look cheap. Does that make sense? They look cheap. I can't put my finger on it. Um, they just look cheap. I mean, they are affordable for what they are. The pricing's fine, but they look even cheaper than that. Does that make sense? It looks like something I'd see on Amazon for like $25. That's visually. I'm a big, I'm big, aesthetics is like everything for me. Um, the Finch Chernobyl Ant, that was the only one I've ever really played with, and it was excellent. It was absolutely buttery smooth, excellent. But again, they just look cheap. I don't know. Could be me, could be a me thing. Uh, yeah, Low Country. I I just got one, and it's it's excellent. It's excellent. Oops. And yet again, sticking to that purple theme, man. I got more and more purple stuff coming in. I'm just surrounded by purple. It's the wood handles. Yeah, the wood for whatever reason. It's like the high polished wood handles. They're I don't know. They look like plastic. The wood handles look like plastic. It looks like bad furniture from the 90s. It's what it reminds me of. But that's a great looking knife. I don't have, you know, the, the, the lines are real nice. It's just, it's not even the materials. It's the way the materials are finished. You give me a nice matte finish on that wood handle. And instead of the brushed, give me like a heavy stone wash like the Jack Wolf knives. And I'd be all over these. But it's the way they choose to, to finish the materials. They're really, I don't know. I don't know cheapens it for me i do too i i uh i don't think i have any wood handles in my entire collection what almost 400 knives zero wood handles that's that's a lie i have a gerber from the 70s that has wood handles wood handles are in mint mint condition baby mint condition oh i didn't bring it upstairs it's still in the basement um like i've been saying for the past like week or two where we've been cleaning out the basement just so much shit um i found i found like four watches now just kind of cool one's like a timex timex expedition nice little edc watch um what is happening here why is my camera so saucy i found a uh, a shrade from like has to be the the 90s usa made shrade slip joint or a backlock wood handles really nice like a really nice backlock from trade i guess trade used to make good stuff i'll have to bring it up i'll have to bring it up for the sunday stream it's too far away now it's like a five minute round trip i'm not gonna go down there what do you think about the notorious cdc kingpin i like it jason i like the way it looks but i have so many like high-end modern slip joints that I just don't, I don't need it. Does that make sense? I have all my Jack Wolves. I got some, I got my Ohio River Jack. Um, I have my Magna Cut, uh, PP, my PT, PP Ultim Bear from uh, Tactile Knife Co. So I'm good. I'm good. I can't handle the wood, Lone Star. That's exactly it. That's it. I can't handle the wood. It's just too much. It's too much for me personally. <laughs> The new case top flipper looks all right. I hope they're made well. So Jonathan, I, the past two years at Blade Show, Big Blade Show in Atlanta, um, God, I need a haircut. The mullet's coming back, boys. It's starting to, starting to rear its ugly head. I need a haircut. Um, the case knives, when they started making like aluminum frame locks, oh, bleh, horrible. Oh, so bad. So atrocious. It, it, and these are the ones they're showing off at the biggest knife show in the world. You would think they'd bring their A game. Turns out their A game on their like locking folding knives is ass. Is just unadulterated, pure, stinky, unwashed ass. Horrible. Horrible. Oh, eh, eh. It was on bearings and it felt like they had just buried the knives in sand before bringing them to the show. It was just like... <coughs> It, it, ugh, oh, it gives me chills just thinking about it. I hate it. I hated them. I hated them. Ugh. What's their new one? Case. New case knives. 2024. 
Oh, God. I don't even want case knives in my fucking search history. Jesus. I gotta tell you, though. You know? Okay, real quick, before we go any further. These Tiffany blue ones here, pal. Eight, this is how much a case costs? Are you shitting me? That Tiffany blue's... You know? I mean... I mean... You know? If they did a rust lock in Tiffany blue, I might be tempted. All right, we got to move along. We got to move along before Tri-State makes mistakes. <laughs> yeah, so these, the Marilla. Oh, bad. Bad, bad, not good. Um, does it tell me what the handle material is? Handle finish smooth? Are these liner locks? Okay, so these are liner locks, I guess. $208? No, dude. Nope. The knife vet, I'm going to use a tactile turn pin for this test. Guaranteed. Guaranteed A+. 100%. 100% chance. Uh, I'm not seeing anything worth a damn. Do you know what it's called? Do you know what that new... Modern. Mod, modern. Modern. I am the modern man. Oh, yeah, dude, these ones, the aluminum ones, ugh, ugh, bad, 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 for $200. I don't get why they used aluminum for those. It's cheaper than Thai, but its properties are way different, so lock bar action usually feels like gas. It's not springy enough. Yeah, dude. Knives, good knives are made out of titanium and stainless for a reason. It's because of the properties of the material, and, and it's got to last a really long time. Aluminum's too soft, man. It doesn't doesn't uh spring back into place every damn time i don't know exactly i kind of avoid their booths at shows now so you got to tell me what the new one's called because hell i don't know hell i don't know i can verify Schrade used to make good knives i inherited a 40 50 year old Schrade version of the buck 110 from my grandfather and is in better condition than the modern buck 110 yeah dude this one like i said this one's got to be 20 plus 20 to 30 years old the one i found mint baby mint anyone see my father he headed to the liquor store and i haven't seen him since ian i'm your father the liquor has made has allowed me to maintain this beautiful uh physique that you see before me that before you before, i am dude i'm so tired spring cleaning just especially cleaning six years worth of just like garbage out of a basement is the most exhausting taxing thing i've ever taken on i notice you ian i always notice you you sweet beautiful man do you have an interest any interest in the qsp variant mitchell adams what do you got what is that qsp variant uh, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Um, so I'm confused. These used to be... Did Qvist just disappear? It's not Qvist anymore, right? Because this is the Qvist variant, and I've reviewed two versions of this. I, re I reviewed the PE2 and the PE3. Excellent knife. Uh, there are full reviews somewhere on the channel. Go find them uh, if you want to watch. But this is Jacob. Uh, Jacob Lundquist. And his brand was Qvist, but it doesn't exist anymore because this is not the Qvist. It was called the Qvist variant. Jim Leahy at your cervix, bud. The Case Bridge line, all right, before I forget. Would you prefer OSB Flavio over a Phyllis hot dog? <laughs> Tinkly Bells, Barry. <laughs> I think QSP was the OEM and purchased the model. Well, it's Kaiser. I think he's switched, like, the way he's running it. So it used to be released under QVist, and he would do pre-orders and drops himself. Now, it seems he's just licensing the designs out. And QVist as a brand doesn't exist anymore. So if you go on Instagram, and you look up QVist... Wow, Q-Sist? Wow, wow. It's not here. It's neither of these. You gotta look up Jacob Lundquist. 
He cha he, like, he deleted Qvist from the internet. It doesn't exist anymore. The website's different. The Instagram's different. Qvist is dead. He's just changed it to Jacob Lundquist Designs, and he's only licensing out designs to Kaiser and QSP. You know, I don't know why. Unless this is more profitable somehow for him or makes more sense as far as... Damn, dude. Jesus Christ. When does that come out? I wish I could draw. I wish I could draw good. <laughs> I, I just can't. I just can't draw good, man. A legal thing? All right, that checks out. That's crazy. I want one of those. When do I get this? Yeah, it says Qvist in the bio, but that's it. But there's no Qvist website anymore. There's no Qvist. It used to all be Qvist. Now it's not. Now it's licensed designs. I don't know. I just, I noticed that at, um, at the show at Bleacher, Texas. That his designs were everywhere, but he was not. What's that? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. What the hell is that? When does this come out, Jakey Poo? When does that come out? Give me, give me that. One, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, exactly, Dan. Uh, this this is the the little Kaiser pea shooter, which is damn adorable. Just the cutest little patoot. Just the cutest little patoot. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Let us explore this Qvist drama. Lone Star, you're always itching for drama, dude, aren't you? I don't have any here. I'm sorry. Anyway, Case Bridgeline and Longhouse. <laughs> Aluminum Almost frames. Almost missed the best part of Thursday. Almost. Tinkly bells, man. T-Bone, love you, brother. Longhouse, why are they sticking with aluminum frames on manual folding knives? Knock it off. Is it because they just can't machine titanium? Is that what this is? Or is it because they just assume their user base are idiots and they'll buy anything? Is that some farm boy fanboy? Hell yeah, dude, that looks bad eight. I want one of them. That's real nice. Only cost me $300. Uh, aluminum frames and bolsters. The li Are they liner locks? The lot. I didn't see. I didn't play with this. Are these? They're they're just doing it again. They didn't. They didn't learn their lesson, huh? Because it says nothing about stainless or titanium. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it seems like they didn't learn their fucking lesson. Uh, this one's a double detent with a half stop. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Well, then that's a little better, but still. Come on. You know they're going to charge 200 bucks for it. Give me titanium, for Christ's sake. We know you can do it. Or maybe you can't. Case I... Hell, I don't know. Hell, I don't know. Hell. Has the Ultus Fixie been released yet? Uh, The Civivi one? No. No, no, no. None of the stuff that we looked at at Bleacher Texas is out yet. It might be in, like, the coming soon section, but... Somebody earlier mentioned that there's Spider Code 2024 catalog. Is this true? December. New. New. Because I saw people posting pictures of a 15V uh, micro Jimbo. JD for EDC? No, but I heard there's like a lot of uh, a lot of drama around that <laughs> around that release. That, that people are getting like upset about a Kaiser for some reason. It's a Kaiser. They're gonna make more. Relax. Get out of here, Ron. Taking my jab. Try say, is it time for Blade Bench? Not yet. I need to dig into this. They dropped that early January. Yeah, but they released, they teased 15V micro jimbo. I saw, yes, see, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy 
15V Micro Jimbo. You know? Next, next, uh, thank you for the sub. This is the one for me. This is the one for me, my guy. A plus. Dr. Drew, take me with you. I heard reveal 15 is the 15B review. It seems like it, dude. I have a complaint, though. Why? <laughs> because the blade's so tiny, the billboarding <laughs> is, looks huge. It takes up like a quarter of the entire blade. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Sign me up. Put me down for two of them bad boys. Color's weird. Yeah, I think it's just these pictures. Uh, I don't know where my brown scales are. This is my 15V Manix that you guys helped me build with the uh, faux Beskar scales and the zir zirconium clip. I do use it. I do abuse it. I love this knife. Um, it's just too damn heavy. I, I kind of prefer my lightweight in the S110V. The hole looks huge because it's the same size hole, <laughs> but on a dinky, tiny little knife. The hole looks big on a big knife. Juan, yeah, they should have just, just the whole blade. Just cover it. See, look how small it looks on the Manix 2. The, uh, the big brown bear. But yeah, this knife's excellent. Um, one thing I've learned about 15V... The factory edge lasted a good long time, but it did start to lose its bite pretty quick. I did kind of use and abuse this a lot when I first got it, like right out of the gate, mainly because the steel was so hyped up. Um, but it kind of, the factory edge lost its bite really quick, but it strops up so well, like in instantly, instantly. Like three passes either side of the blade on, uh, on a diamond emulsion leather strop absolute lightsaber again so i do like the 15v i i you know i s110 v holds its bite longer though i do have to say in my experience and the action's better on my lightweight the action never really like broke in on this knife do you have any idea how much i'd have to charge you for this can you even buy a 15v manix They've been sold out forever, dude. Um, and the scales and the clip were like three hundred dollars. <laughs> so I'd have to to break even. What I'd have to charge you five hundred dollars for it? No, that wouldn't even be breaking even. I'd be taking like a twenty dollar loss. Sure, hope you didn't forget we were supposed to put a singular naff up for sale on Blade oh! Binge. Tisk tisk. Let's make you some money, honey. -y. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do a Phyllis Discord knife made by Best Tech? I look. I'm. I've been really impressed by your designs lately. Should I run them through 3D CAD just to see see what I can come up with? <laughs> I don't even know what I would sell right now. I did learn that most YouTubers end up selling. Uh, a majority of their knives that they get as review samples. Isn't that wild? Like, pretty much everybody. You name them. You name them. Everybody does it. I give them all away. I give them all away. That's why I never have stuff to sell. Because all the stuff I don't want to keep, I just give it away to you guys. You know? I don't know. It just feels icky to sell. I don't, I don't know. What would we even sell? I, what would I... Wa 400 knives. What would I even sell? I'd, I'd sell my soul first. Someone said Manixes aren't meant for scale swaps, i.e. they don't work as well without the factory scales. Uh, I feel like that can be said for pretty much every Spider Co. They don't ever work. They, At least in my experience, they never quite are the same, but they look better, and that's all that matters. Unethical? Maybe. Jake Orskin, what's up, dude? And Ed Durbin's here. Edward? Good to see you, Ed. Oh, 
that wouldn't really fly in other hobbies. That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, I don't know. It just seems icky. I'm sure it happens a lot, but like any budget knives I get in for review, I'm just going to give them away. Any, you know, you guys, like 80% of you are channel members. You guys already pay like a monthly fee to help support the channel. Like, I don't know. It just feels dumb. If it's something I bought and paid for, I'm going to sell it, right? That makes sense. That's totally fine. But if it's something I got for free, I don't, even if it's really nice, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably the only knife I own that if I if I wanted to get rid of it, I would end up selling is this one. The Rob Johnson's. But I would never sell this knife. Whoops. Whoops. He's working on a uh, cedar for me right now, and I'm so pumped. Woohoo. I'm so pumped. But even that, I would never sell it. I would just never sell it. My journey, what's up, dude? I already said hi to you. How you doing? Yes, 3D CAD, the phallus and balls knife and the Discord votes de votes on design. 200 pieces made by Best Tech. <laughs> Sell my prototype. So what will end up happening, because there's going to be uh, like significant changes, and we're going to order more prototypes after those changes are made, so we can kick them around to other reviewers. Um, I'll probably like raffle off the prototype. Considering this is like, like a $900 knife. <laughs> It's a nine hundred dollar knife. Uh, part of the business, man. It's expensive to get a knife made. It's very expensive. I'm very, very happy with it. Like I said, I wish I could show you guys, but it's not ready. It's not ready for the public eye yet. Tis not ready. Unethical, maybe, but beautiful, definitely. Ryan Die, what's up, man? My autistic, bordering on re unreasonable sense of justice applauds you. Thank you. Them some purdy scales on that there knife, boy. On the, uh, oh, on the Manix? Yeah. These are from, uh, Meton Boss. Titanium, anodized, like, anodized and laser etched Beskar scales, and then the, the black zirconium Beskar clip, which this alone is like $200, this stupid clip. <laughs> I don't know why I let you guys talk me into it. It's sick. It just weighs like eight pounds now. <laughs> it's like too heavy. It's too heavy for my weak little wrists. Um, we do. We should hit the blade binge, though. It is time. It is time. Oh! Let me see it so I can confirm. Andrew, uh, if you've been a channel member for long enough, aren't you in the Discord? Uh, the Knight's Edge, what's up, man? Uh, oh! I want to see what's for sale. Already screenshots, brother boxy looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the point. That was the point, man. Kudos to this OEM. They designed, they, they made it exactly how I designed it. Any flaws it has are, are just little things that worked on paper that just need to be tweaked in real life. Does that make sense? Um, just little tiny things. Literally sh shortening the handle by a, like two tenths of an inch. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And, uh thinning down the handles by like a tenth of an inch that's it like those little changes this thing will be uh, chef's kiss chef's kiss big bald guy i have sent you an email dude i know for a fact i think you keep missing it man because you only have seven days from the time i email you to get in otherwise the link expires big bald guy been almost dude i got you i'll send it to you right now on stream. That way I have 128 witnesses. I have witnesses, dude. Buy my Jaeger, please. I don't need a Jaeger. I already have one. And I... And I love it. Uh, boop, boop. Reply. Boom. There you go. You got it. You got it. You're welcome. No need to thank me. I'm just doing my job. All right. No no more complaints. Gator Aaron, what's up, man? Uh, whoa. Right off the bat, Shiro Quantum. And a Rayot Jack. Dude, I want the Rayot Jack 2.0 to come back. We've talked about that before. The 2.0 with that crazy warning on it. Jeff Hamilton, if you if you guys have been members for, for three months, you're in. You're in, baby. As long as you've renewed twice. 
just shoot me an email tricedc at gmail.com with your with your youtube name because I, I have to verify cole will there be lefties zulu whiskey no probably not but it is very lefty friendly it's it's ambidextrous it's very very lefty friendly uh, i'm very pleased because i like to fidget with my knives left-handed as well it's it's very lefty friendly don't worry especially for a right-handed frame lock it's super lefty friendly just as fidgety i promise um i may add a spot so that the clip is reversible for the lefties because it is so lefty friendly but i don't know i'm trying to keep it as clean as possible Night's Edge, just stopping by on lunch at work. Have to go pretend like I know what the fuck I'm talking about for another four hours. <laughs> Story of my life. Are the prices on Blade Binge and USD? Yes. Yes, they are. Um, That is a wild looking thing, dude. Yep. Perfect. You just sent me an email? Alright. I'll get you guys in. And if you're part of the Discord, you get you get you get to see pick you get to see teaser picks of the uh, of the new knife. But keep in mind, it's going to get changed. So this is the OG. Four-inch blade. Look at the pocket clip on this thing. Big old nipple going on. Big old puffy. <laughs> That's a great shot. A plus. A plus on that one, pal. Interesting. Flipper only. Zulu whiskey. Gay. <laughs> Look. I promise you, it's very lefty friendly. I am a ambidextrous boy. Ooh, ah, yeah. Is that the G10 one? I feel like 350 is a little much for the G10 version, but the Sangra 229 is a beast, an absolute friggin' beast. Uh, what else we got? The, uh, the big one, the military two, which is too much knife for me. 260 for the M4. I just scroll right past it. I didn't want to look at it. Is that a good insane or a bad insane? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. That's bad insane. Yeah, that's pfft, fart noise. The big chungus ZTO 308. Yes, disc, any pics of the knife stay in the Discord. Please and thank you. Or you will be banished to the nether realm. What is, what is happening here? <laughs> My dude flew all the way to Mars to get pictures of a knife. <laughs> Dude, that's a, that's a baller move. Well done, man, I guess. What? It, why? Which version is this? Is this just S30V? How much does he want? $300? So he's got, um, I hate it when people do this. Uh, Meton boss scale. So those are really expensive. Well, I get that. I get that. But, oof, I don't know. I think it's funny the way he did his pictures. Someone not in the Discord said they just saw your knife. My God. What do you think about the Mini Tempest? Jason, I love the Mini Tempest. Uh, that's the only sharp by design I have left. Uh, oh, of course. Henry G. Absolutely. For criminal reasons, Tyler? Yeah, I agree. Have I handled the stovepipe, Plenty Pote? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, took my finger off. Took my finger clean off. Who's Levon? Which one's Levon? Which one of you? Which one of you? Q 
Keep in mind, I also... Yeah, Marty has the power. Blame Dexter, what's up, man? Have you reviewed the Sweeney or the Mini Sweeney? Yes, uh, I reviewed the full-size Sweeney. I haven't reviewed the Mini, but same knife, just a little smaller. Is 265 on a Golden Design Works standard knife? I love the Golden Design Works standard. Um, uh, I don't remember how much those were when they came out. I want to say they were over 300. Yeah, Marty, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> they said they saw picks at Junior Miz. Uh, I shared picks to like the Big Daddy YouTube uh, group. That's like Metal Complex and uh, Cedric and Ada and uh, Levon and um, uh, fucking advanced knife bro that group i sh i sh like showed them some pics so a handful of people have seen it I, what is going on with the space theme this is cracking me up it's also addicted to blades we know all about him uh four hundred dollars for a mini diesel okay sprint run spy opera for 375 okay okay 375 for this one's not bad for this a guy huh that's honestly not terrible Oh, plenty pote. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's a good story. Makes for a good story. Edelcon, yeah, I shared that yesterday. There is a thirty percent off sale that started yesterday on Urban. Uh, I think the code Spring Clean. We can chop that. We can chop that uh, after we do some some binging. See what's new. Mini grip for 155 with the AWT scales, which is the only way to do a mini grip. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> yep. Uh, you think I should get the mini Tempest or something obscene on sale for 250? <laughs> oh, uh, it depends on what kind of. I have both. Do you want me to show you both? They're very, very different, Jason. Very different. Very, very different things, man. So here's the Mini Tempest. I've had this since the very first drop. Uh, this is the front flipper with the with the deployment slot. It's excellent, right? It's just super clean, dynamite, love, right? It's just so symmetrical. <laughs> it's such a satisfying knife. Uh, so that's the Mini Tempest. This is the Lek. <laughs> Here's your... <laughs> They're just opposite ends of the design spectrum. Robo Stevio, what's up, man? They're just polar opposites. Um, here you go. Like, you know, it just depends on what you're in the mood for. Are you in the mood for a big, crazy cleaver? Or are you in the mood for a nice, slim EDC knife? You know, I happily EDC this all the time. I love this knife. It's so comfy. It cuts really well. Really tall flat grind. Just a banger of a knife all the way around. Controverse. Thank you for the sub. So, there you go. I mean, look. I think this at 250 is a no-brainer. Uh, for me personally, between these two, if they were the same price right now, I'd take the Lek. Made by Rayot, absolute tank, 250 bucks is a steal. Um, 250 is a great price on a Mini Tempest too, but between the two, the one that gets carried and used the most is the Lek. That's that's just me. Trey Penn, what's up, dude? <laughs> I'm at work lurking. Heelys! <laughs> that's just moi. I think a lot of the chat would agree. But the Lek at 250, uh, that, for me, that's my pick right now. That'd be my pick. Damn, Spider Manic's too lightweight in uh, Maximant. 220, is that a good price? Mom? 270, yeah, that's a killer price. 
Damn, the fact that that's it on like in stock to buy. Lek kind of sounds like an STD. Yeah, kind of. I got the Lek again. Damn it. <laughs> that's a great price. 220 like new in box. That's 50 bucks off. If anybody's in the market for a lightweight, like, king, the EDC lightweight king, right there it is. I love the Manic Steel lightweight so much. Love, love, love. Amsler Mini 2049? Yeah, all day. That's sick. I have the same one, but with the reverse grind. And then I have a full size with the Tonto. I think everybody should own an Amsler. These are older ones, though. CPM 154. His new ones, the one I have, the two I have are an S35. And then his new ones are in MagnaCut. So I would go to his Etsy store first before buying one of those. But still, I, I love those knives. Trey Pinton, you're an animal, dude. Do you have an idea how many knives you could have got for two grand? So many. SPK Lamia. Whoa, for $1,200. Good God. I do like that plain Jane with the heavy stone wash. Ooh, wee. Oh, yeah, I do like that. What's the blade steel on this bad boy? On uh, skiff bearings, too. LMAX, nice. That's a lot of cheddar cheese, dude. Oh, nice. Jason Reed, uh, dude, they make amazing knives. Uh, I now have two. I just bought the Nimli. This just arrived yesterday. And I love them both. I love both my something obscenes. Uh, and two fifty for a Rayot made beast is crazy. A crazy good price. Chiselec or standard blade? Renee, standard. What are you, a sociopath? You get that standard V grind, baby. Get that standard V. This thing's a freaking lightsaber. Absolute laser beam. Whoops. I love it. Love that knife so much. It's been unintentional. <laughs> There's one SPK Discord Gen 3 LMAX for $700? Damn, dude. That's not bad. I don't have $700, but that's not bad. Uh, Manix 2 Lightweight Spy 27. You know? You guys have told me before, but what is Spy 27, like, comparable to? Isn't it, like, kind of the same as S45? I can't remember. You guys told me before. Ooh, mini Evo. 350. Yeesh. Okay. A little much. A little much. Don't you dare, Renee. Why are you a chisel grind slut? I hate chisel grinds. I hate them so much. Ian. Dude, a mini lek would be like my favorite EDC of all time. A mini lek would be sick, dude. Um, a Zon, just a Zon, chilling, 600 bucks. Oh, sorry, here, here you go, here's the Blade Binge link for everybody. I know it says NAF sale, I need to update that, update my shortcut. But it'll take you to the same place. <sighs> 600 is not a bad price, but, uh, you know... Spy 27, almost at S35 and close to XHP. I love XHP. Uh, Nimble with the speed holes. Nimble T2 for 375. Uh, a production Sparrow for 650. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I meant to hit the fart noise. I hit the wrong button. Shit. Don't buy this. Don't do this. You get one of these. That's what he gets. That's what you get. Ridiculous. Uh, I, this design just has not aged well for me. It just does. It looks so weird. It looks so weird. And they're so expensive, man. If this was like five, six hundred bucks, sure. Sure thing. But it's not. It's not even close. 
Real men love chisels because we use them as tools, like in the real world. I have one chisel ground knife, and I do love it, and I use it as like a, a paint scraper. It's great. There was a glitch on the blade on our HQ website, and I was able to pick up the last Dead Reckon Ridgeback Modified Series 1 Texture Titanium Snag, the last one. Nice, dude! I got the aluminum Tiffany Blue right here. Right chair she goes. Grimsma is making a button lock, huh? I won't be able to afford it, as long as it's not ugly. What about a hollow chisel grind warning? Does that exist? Does that, is that a real thing? Uh, 550? No. Dude, addicted to blades. You just need to get off this website, dude. Uh, ooh, we have a frame lock full-size barber for 335. I like the colorway a lot. Sick. Sick. I mean, absolute tank. Sure. Dog on Mountain, why are you yelling Spider Co Paramilitary 2 Salt Folding Black G10 Handle Magna Cup Plane Blade? Why are you yelling that? Oh, it's in stock. Oh, the, um... I really probably will never buy another PM2. I'm a PM I'm a pair three guy. But you're telling me we got spider goes in stock? Magna cut ones? There it is. Code try state 10. Save you 10%. Hollow be thy chisel. Blessings be. Kathleen Smith, how you doing? Um Hello all. One question. How can you guys all buy so many knives? Um the same reason uh that people buy so many uh, uh anything that they're you know it's a hobby it's like our hobby so the same reason people collect coins or pokemon cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards magic the gathering cards you know what i mean same reason people collect perfume and uh fragrances or uh, people buy a shitload of candles even though they'll never burn them all in an entire lifetime it's the same idea our thing is just knives does that make sense are you asking, like, financially, how can we? We can't, is the answer. We absolutely cannot. We just figure out a way. <laughs> if you're like me, you literally spend every penny you have on knives. Yeah, and there you go. Knife cannot. I work a lot of hours. <laughs> yeah, sneakers. Same thing that, like, people collecting sneakers and stuff like that. It's the same thing. Nick Travellini, how you doing? Yeah, 240 is a lot. It'll, uh, Code Tri State 10 will save you 24 bucks. So it'll be like 210 210 ish, 215 ish. But a Magna Cut PM2, if you're in the market, there it is. Sure as shit. Nick Travellini, that's probably the best answer. It's probably the best answer. We're all dumb. We're all terrible with our money. What are these? What do these do? Are these just tops? What are these? What am I looking at? It's piss, so I'm interested, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, Kathleen, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the money thing is, is it's, I mean, it's this, again, it's the same as like, oh, I really shouldn't be buying these sneakers. I already have a hundred pairs at home, but they're limited. You talk yourself into it. And you, you know, for me, it's like, as long as the bills are getting paid, I'm okay. I got enough little, little extra. I get, I have like fun money every month by fun money. It's usually channel member. Like that always goes into buying more knives to check out. Um, you know, that's, that's, it's just, you know, I used to work three jobs just to be able to buy knives. <laughs> So there you go. Hey, Blade Bin Shop is live. We'll have to hit that after we get through this first hundred listings. Uh, mini grips, you know, nice. Ooh, oh, those are sick, dude. Those are sick. I like this texture a lot. With the clip, those are gnarly. Damn, boy. Paizan still chilling at 500, 175 for a swayback. These two are killer pickups. 
Ki oh! Kill. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Mom? There. There they are. Killer pickups. Mike Reese, what's up, man? Oh, fidget spinner caps? Okay. That's okay. I gotcha. And I think we're caught up. Uh, uh, Eric, what's the link for Blade Bin Shop? Is it a whole different website or is it the same website? Fill me in here, big pimpin'. There's another mini Evo. 275, better price. A lefty Devo Stout. 900 bucks for a mini. Eh, eh. I'd honestly probably rather buy this, even though I know nothing about this brand or this designer. Blade Bin Shop is live. Cool face. <laughs> Tin Bones from Eric. And I think we have a discount code. Uh, uh, let's see here. Blade Bin Shop. What's the link, Eric? My friend. Hold on. Hold on. I think you sent it to me, didn't you? Now I got to make that new pants ad. For Blade Bin Shop. That'll be the pants ad. New knives from Blade Bin Tile will take you to it. Aha! Okay. All right. So this, new knives from Blade Bin. This button right here, boop, will take you to Blade Bin Shop. So it's a whole separate page. This will be a retail, uh, the retail side of things. Just like any normal retail website. American Blade Works? Bruh. And does, am I correct? Code Tri-State 10? Code Tri-State 10. That me, oh, this is huge. This is huge, gang. Uh, this is big. This is big. There's your Blade Binge link. That'll take you to the homepage. Click that link. And then click New Knives from Blade Binge. 10% off. Code Tri-State 10. 10% off. So you're saving $33. You're going to save 33 bones. My guy. So you can get this for under 300 bucks. <laughs> Woohoo! Eric, before I get myself in trouble, does the code work on everything? Does the does the code try state 10 work on everything? Does that mean you can get an attention to detail for 10% off? Save 85 fucking dollars? <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Dude, the medium... This guy saved 75 bucks off that. Sure. Great. Code try say 10. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. And of course, we have the dark mode collabs. You can get the fully built DECA XL dark mode. Save yourself 23 bucks. Save yourself $23. Kathleen, this is how we do it. We go, oh, it's limited edition and oh, it's on sale. And then we just, we figure out the money at later. We figure it all out later. <laughs> It's all, there's a lot of panic involved in the buying, the buying process. My job made a mistake by putting an outlet in a single private bathroom, phone charger, poop station, <laughs> located. Hell yeah, dude. Click all knives. Yeah. Alliance. Whoa, we got Alliance designs in here. Dude, the mini Venino is sick. T-Bone? Nah. Tri-State 10 will forever live. Uh, it says 10,000 products. That can't be right. That can't be right. We have Arcanes? No shit. You can get a freaking Arcane Crypt for 10% off. Probably the only place on the internet you can do that is right here. You can get a Crypt for 10% off. Money is a tomorrow problem. Exactly. So you can get American Blade Works Model 2 and tie for 10% off, which I might indulge myself. Uh, a Crypt for 37 bucks off. All the old artisans. Hell yeah. Got a boa. Damn, son. Dude, our Blade Bin shopping just got unhinged. <laughs> All the old classic artisans. The craziest shit ones. We went full send on inventory. I, I can see that. 
By the way, this is where you're going to end up buying, pre-ordering and buying my knife when the time comes, just so you know. So if you don't have a Blade Binge account, it's time to set one up. Uh, Cal uh, Delia. Hey, everybody, just a quick question about the Flytanium Arcade for anybody who has who has had it. Is it worth it? Also, does anyone know when the Gunmetal Ultim one comes out? Thanks. I have never handled one or reviewed one, so I don't know. Um, so you'll have to, you'll have to ask the chat. I'm not sure. I think they're a little pricey for what they are personally, but you know, maybe that's just me. Dude, we just have a link to every artisan knife ever. All right. Sick proponent, full tie proponent. If you're feeling frisky, the ravines kind of badass. artisan Seder code try state 10, 10% off. Save yourself 20 bucks on the artisan Seder titanium S 90 V you'll end up paying what? 120, 170 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Sea Snake? Sick. Artisan Serious? Hell yeah. Love it. We got to get past the Artisans here somehow. Uh, the new trucks? 10% off. The Artisan Valor? 10% off. Code Tri-State 10, baby. Shee! I got to update my uh, video descriptions. Artisan Talos? Designed by um, Dylan Mallory? Nice. The accelerator, if you're feeling frisky. Of course, we got those A A2Ds, baby. Hell yeah, bodega. Pick up a bodega. Save yourself 12 bones. I'm on page 21, still on Arius's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sick. Bodega, the Astio. Both of these really recommendable. Between the two, I'd go bodega. I just think it's badass. Um, the mini glimpse is really cool too for 80 bucks. Again, code try state 10. Fuck. Yeah. Best tech ascot's a banger. I have the wood. I have this one, the G10 and wood. All right. All right. Damn boy. Best tech Cetus for 280. Again, code try state 10. Don't forget it. Gator Aaron's going, ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, the exploit. Oh, such a good knife. Such a good nice. Uh, uh, nice? It is nice. Love. Todd Knife and Tool Design. Banger. The Eskra's sick. Really fucking big, but really sick. Dude, Exploit's still like one of my all-time favorite front flippers. Uh, especially like high-end. Dude, the Fairchild is a behemoth. The Falco's sick. Hell yes. Hell yes. The Glock? They never sent me one. Best Tech, like, stop sending me knives. What's the deal, Best Tech? The Icarus is a cool little EDC. Little guy. Real tiny little thing. Dude, uh, the Costa. Banger. You can pick this one up for under 100 bucks. Would you look at that? The Keen 2 is massive. And they have Sezzle? Oh, God. Wow. Wow, it's game over, dudes. It's game over. It's all over from here. We're it's we're through financially. We're ruined. We're ruined. Fuck me. Good God. Damn. All the best techs. Uh, the Lido's a cool little knife. The Lizard's a great. As ugly as this thing is, great knife. <laughs> it's so ugly. It's beautiful. There's the uh, the Loch Ness, which is redonkulous. The malware. Oh, the old malware. Mine got stolen. I never replaced it. Hells to the... Yeah, the Dundee. Bang and budget knife. The Nixie 3. Oh, I still haven't picked one up. Right, now I might have to. Use my own discount code, my own affiliate link. I'll be doing just fine. Yeah, Mike Reese. It's game over, dude. Here you go. Here's that, here's that Blade Binge link again, just in case. Just in case you need it. <laughs> oh, God. Got the full size and the, the new mini Nixie, which I love both of. Oh, Lord. Riverstone's a sick knife. The rock face is crazy. Ooh, the, the skirmish is sick. Really badass. The Shodan, dude. Another Todd Knife and Tool design. Big fan. Slasher, sick. The Strelit. I genuinely, unironically love the Strelit. 
The Sin. You can pick up a Sin. Code Tri-State 10. Hell yeah. And the TARDIS. Fuck me. Fuck me, boys. I also like how this is laid out. It's very easy to see everything. Dude, the new VK Void. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! And my wife wants me to do that financial peace class for our finances. Don't listen to, uh, is it what's his face? Oh, he's so out of touch. You're telling me you got $400,000 in debt? Sell the car, sell your house, be homeless, pay off that debt. That guy's so fucking out of touch. I don't even want to say his name. I can't remember his name, but I hate him. I hate him. He knows nothing. His, his financial advice takes you very far in the year 1984. It gets you nowhere in 2024. Don't listen to him. Uh, dude, the Beyond EDC contact banger. I have one of those. I love it. Ramsey. Yeah, fuck Dave Ramsey. This is what I have to say to Dave Ramsey. There you go. Dave Ramsey only works if you're making 200 grand a year and everything's already paid off. That, that's it. That's it. Saving money does you no good, dude. We're losing dollar value by the day. Spend it. You can't take it with you. That's my that's my thought process. Oh, we get the Beyond EDC, the warning with the integrated button lock and the uh, Beyond EDC thwack, which I love. Killer budget knife. Dave Ramsey, his common sense advice is good, but he's just out of touch when it comes to the cost of living in 2024. He has no idea. He has no idea. Right, T-Bone, exactly. Apparently, he is like, that whole business is like a cult as well. And like, the way they mistreat their employees is brutal. Like, the, the interviewing process, if you have like debt, and like any amount of debt, they won't even hire you at all. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's very whitewashed. They basically hire no minorities. They hire like 10% of their workforce is women. Like they, they just suck. They suck. <laughs> Dave Ramsey, whole business blows ass. They'll fire people for the dumbest reasons. I don't know. It's like a, it's, it's a hundred percent a cult. It's very weird. It's very weird. My mom loves Dave Ramsey and I shit roast her as often as I can about it. Do they have a Ray on here? Hold on. If they have a Beyond... I, that was like a limited, like, exclusive. I don't know that they're going to have a Ray. I don't think they do. Oh, well. We got some cheap shit. You gotta have the Bokies. The Bokey Pokies. Stop, stop. I'm losing blood flow to my brain. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry if you love Dave Ramsey, but he's kind of a monster. Ooh. Uh, oh, that's the auto. So this one's technically put together in America, but not. The Ray wasn't that great? Mmm. Sezzle's a publicly owned company? <gasps> BRB, I gotta hit my TD Ameritrade account. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, what are you? Wait, is this, um... What brain? Yeah, Joe, I don't have one anymore. Is this, uh... What's his tits? The same... What, oh, what's his tits? You guys know who he is. Oh, what's his tits? Um, also, don't take... I am in no position to give financial advice. I'm just saying I don't like Dave Ramsey. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, uh, uh, help. D-Rocket, right? It's like a little pea shooter D-Rocket. I like the textured handles. No Amazon or Walmart sales. Interesting. It's damn adorable. It's damn adorable. How much is that little thing? $42. You know it's hot garbage. You know it's bad. I love D-Rocket's design so much. I just wish he didn't sell or license his designs to the companies that he does. You know what I mean? 
I wish he would sell them to Best Tech and we and um fuck Rayot. Like license shit through the good OEMs, not Boker and CRKT. Oh, what's his tits? <laughs> you know the guy. Oh, what's his tits? Uh uh oh. Is it all caps? Eric. Eric, help us. The code's not working. Is it all caps? Big ball guy, we'll see you Sunday, man. You take care. Uh um um here, let me try something. It might be all caps. How do I have a cat here in my mouth? Try all caps. Uh, d uh where where is he? Where is he? Who said that? K Whale, try all caps. Uh, Renee, I met Daryl uh, in uh, Atlanta last year. He was so nice. We sat and talked to him for ages. He's he's a sweetheart. He was an absolute sweetheart, and he was a total stranger to us. You know what I mean? Maybe he's mean to the people he's closer to. There you go. All caps. Uh oh, Eric, we have a problem. Nine one one. Nine one one. Call Scotland. <laughs> Scotland, help us. All right, dude, so many bokers. Ooh, there's some cool-looking bokers, man. Bokers have always had really cool designs, but just, uh, you know, the build quality is always sus. Yeah, it's Tri-State 10. Should be the code. It's a cool-looking pen. <laughs> Isaiah, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be here when you come back. It's not going anywhere. They just opened up shop, baby. A bunch of Bradfords. All the Bradfords. I need a hundred per page. Tell Scotland I need a hundred per page option. Dad. Dad. Now we're into the bucks. Alright, we gotta we gotta jump forward. Uh, I gotta get to the goods, baby. Uh boop. Oh no. Help me, Tom Cruise. It, there, it works now, I guess. There you go. I don't know what you were doing wrong. True. Kara said that was only one interaction and you can't judge people based on one interaction. And she's very correct. So maybe, but my one interaction with Daryl Kasten was, he was very pleasant and very fun, uh, fun to talk to. So I don't know. <laughs> Robo, it's all in the tongue. It's all in the tongue, baby. Oh God. What's the thoughts on those Bradford fixies? I've heard they're good. Uh, uh, I've, uh, I've handled some, I've never reviewed one. Oh, we're into case cutlery now? Dude, you guys went absolutely apeshit on inventory. Now we're talking. Okay. Back it up one page. How do you get Cole and Eric? I'll rate you, Mike. I'll rate you on here. All right, where are the Civivis? We got Chavez's. Chavez Kickstop and RCK9. Code Tri-State 10. Actually, sorry. I have a new link you guys need to be using. I'm a fool. Everybody, hold on to your tits. Uh, hold on to your tits. I gotta add the new the new affiliate link for the shop. Let me log in. Oh, Renee, I. Pff, pff. We we had like multiple interactions with you, my friend. Uh, blade binge. Boop. Aha! Here we go. Add link. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? YouTube chat message. Boop. Ooh. Blade binge shop. 
code tri state 10. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There you go. Now we're talking, baby. Sick. All right. Now I can do this. That takes you to the Blade Bin shop. Now we're talking. Now we're in business. That's the link you need to use. Uh, Chavez. Uh, all the Chavezes. Chavezes. Oh, dude, they have chroma scales. They make the 3D printed, like, crazy textured scales. Uh, the Lego brick ones have always been my personal phase. Sick. Okay. And then we got Savives. We got Altus. The Am I Right, which I played with at Blade Show Texas and is badass. I like it quite a lot. We got the Warney. The Baby Banner Warney's in stock. We got, we got piss. We got piss, everybody. We got piss. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very nice. Chevalier 2s. All the Civivi boot and locks. We got the Warnies. Black Micarta, Black G10. The Hadros, sick. Bad liner access, but a great knife. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. McKenna, Civivi McKenna. Friggin' uh, the Perf, which is interesting. Dude, the Plethros. These are some classics. The Plethros is sick. Aren't they discontinuing that? Damn, son. Thug 2. Love that knife. Matthew Christensen design. Friggin' lover to death. Got some CGRBs. You don't even need a discount code for these. They're so cheap and affordable, but they're all bangers. I'm getting there, Isaiah, or Barry, or Isaiah, whoever that was. I'm getting there. I'll get there, I promise. Uh, we got Echoes, including the pimped out version. Again, all of this stuff is 10% off the price you see. Hell yes. I don't even get a discount code from Artisan CGRB. So this is huge. We got mini pyrites. We got micas. We got big daddy pyrites. We got rias. We got scorias. Dude, this is like the go-to shop now. I don't know what to tell you. We got fucking swords. We got swords. You can buy a sword. Fucking why not, dude? Why not? We got PayPal and Sezzle. Dude, duh. Dude. Hello? Who's there? Whoa. The Ultimate Collector's Edition DVD. Everybody, every self-respecting knife guy needs one of these. It'd be way better if it was a VHS, though, personally. I'd pay extra for the VHS. <laughs> I'd pay extra. I wonder if this is any good. I mean, it can't be terrible, right? All the cold steels. We got a blowgun. We got blowguns. We got baseball bats. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. All the cold steels you could ever want. So what we've built here is Smoky Mountain Knife Works, but you get 10% off with Code Trice A10. So I think it's a win-win. Damn. I'm dude, I'm hard hard as a stallion right now. Uh Cold Steel Carve? Yeah. Please and thank you. More swords, more swords. What are you? A stun dart? So just for smacking unruly children in the head with from across the room? <laughs> what do you use that for? Is there sales tax? Uh, that'd be a question for Eric. I don't know. We got a training pew pew. I'm amazed you're allowed to sell that on here. A uh, professional throwing axe. Sick. All the cold steels. All the cold steels. Push knives. 
freaking Scottish broadswords? Why not? Why the hell? Why the hell not? Damn, dude. I, I always forget just how many knives Gold Steel has out. <laughs> this is too many. Okay, we've made it to Condor. Let's skip ahead. More Condor. I mean, I, dude. It's basically Blade HQ, but everything's on sale. <laughs> no sales tax unless you're in Georgia. Round of applause. Round of applause. Wow. Is this the greatest website for buying knives now? Probably. Probably is. CRKTs. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm on page 69. DPX gear. Damn, dude. It's wild. It never ends. We got SE. What else we got? Derek, this is the new uh, Blade Binge uh, retail site. So they have the, the secondary market site, still the main part. But there's a link for it. This is the new Blade Binge shop. Um, and it's sick. Uh, use the code TRISTATE10. It'll get you 10% off site wide, it seems. We got Finch knives. We got Fox knives. We have compasses. Compai. Compai! Damn, son. Damn, son. There's a radius. 10% off. Marty. There it is, Marty Poo. That's the one you want. That's the one you want, dude. I know it is. <laughs> Sezzle and 10% off. Fuck me, man. It's game over. <laughs> the sewer is great knife. Um, I do like that one a lot. I like the Yaru better. Honestly, dude, that one's the liner lock version. I like that a lot. Two under two hundred bucks. All right. No tax, free shipping, and ten percent off, bruh, bruh. You know what I mean? Gonzos? We got Gonzos, dude. <laughs> never ends it never ends glow rhino sure sick uh oh, oh oh i don't know what happened bunch of glow rhino stuff we got otfs now i thought we weren't allowed oh this is huge we got pp otfs dude we got banana bent bent peen otfs <gasps> I need the banana edition on here. I'll buy one. Kinman, this is bananas. I'm so pumped. Ho bags. We got ho bags. It's literally every website <laughs> except better and 10% <laughs> off and free shipping and no sales tax. <laughs> I made you ink. You're welcome, Marty. I, mean, I, I aim to please Tiffany Blue. Oops. Tiffany Blue. All right. Okay. That warning right there. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Honey badgers. Badger. Gotta run, Dr. True Dude. Thanks for hanging out, man. Love you, brother. Oh, it's game over. Oh, it's game over, dude. All the honey badgers. K bars. If you wanna, if you wanna, you fucking do it, dude. Wait, so if we can buy OTFs, does that mean we can sell OTFs? I don't think so. I think they're using a different. Uh, payment processor, I would assume. I don't think so. I don't think you can list them. Dude, honestly, I kind of want these just because of the color. But I want a full set of like, you know, 10 of each. 10 of each. If K-Bar could make that, I'd buy it. Mr. Cheezel, so this is the new Blade Binge uh, shop website. It's bladebinshop.com, or you can use my affiliate link. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, they just opened it up today, and we're just scrolling through the inventory. We're on page 87. It's unreal. They have everything. They have fucking everything. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, give me strength. We got Kai USA kitchen knives. We got concepts. Sick. 
Uh, let's see if we can find one I like. The Baku is pretty cool. The Bulldozer is sick. Uh, I'm so sorry. The Convict. Again, everything on here is code Tristate 10, 10% off. The Cosmos is pretty cool. Uh, the Finrear. We have all three versions of the Finrear in stock? What? Five versions? All five? All six versions? Of the Finrear in stock. 10% 10, 10 off. Could try to say 10. Well, I'll be dipped. I'll be fucking dipped in chocolate. And eaten alive. Shit, dude. Shit, boy. The Corvid M, if you're into that, go for it. Literally every concept. Every single one. Woo! Tiffany Blue freaking Main Street? Mm. It's funny. Even if I hate the knife, you put Ultim or Tiffany Blue on it, and I will change my tune so fast. <laughs> Mr. Cheezle, no, uh, no. I don't work for Blade Binge. I'm just a big fan. I'm just a big proponent. I work with Blade Binge. Does that count? Uh, what else, what else, what else? Reverie's pretty cool little knife. The shard was the, the, the old shard was the, <laughs> this was the only, um, the only, uh, one I ever bought. With my own money. The only concept. That one's pretty sick. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty that's pretty gnarly. How much is that? 120 bucks? Sure. Patriotic AF? Sure, dude. Get in there. Uh Kershaw launches, Kershaw Atmos. Dude, my phone is blowing up. I am such a popular boy. <laughs> um, I'm so pump. Jesus Christ! Shush. My phone's lit. Uh, you, honestly, tempting. Honestly, tempting. Seven hundred dollars. I mean, code try state ten saves you sixty eight bucks, sixty seven bucks. So you know. Just so you know. Damn. I mean... <laughs> Did you ever try out the Easy E 2.0? Yeah, I reviewed it almost a year ago. I was the first YouTuber to review it. And then Metal Complex was the second. <laughs> yep. Uh, if you go way back, probably six to eight months ago... I reviewed the, uh, I reviewed the, um, the Easy 2.0, the very first prototype. I love the guys at Alliance Designs. They're awesome. Just the kindest Canadian boy or boys. I think it's just a husband and wife running Alliance Designs, which is crazy. Kershaw Natrix. Sick. Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of the Kershaws. Key bar! Hell yeah! Okay, did I go too far? I love K bar stuff. Or key bar, not K bar. Hey, K bar's alright too. But key bar, I do approve. I just like the idea of having a key organizer that I can put a blade on and a bottle opener and all kinds of stuff, and it's all American made with love. I have all these crazy versions. Um. Yeah, they make some sick shit. Like, the mallet is crazy, dude. They made one that is stainless with, like, a lead core or something. And it, I shit you not, it weighs, like, 40 pounds. The Thor hammer. <laughs> Joe Kasperick, take it easy, brother. Thanks for hanging out. Ah, oh, we got Kaisers. Hell yeah. Code tries to 10. Kaiser Deviant. Fucking, dude, it's the Kaiser uh, Critical Mini with the thumb studs. Yes, please. And the beauty of this is it's, I have an affiliate link for it. So you get a discount and you get to help the channel. You get to do your, your, your charity work while shopping for knives. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. 
Uh, the Lotvind is a banger. I think sadly slept on. Maddie's knife, the uh, the Phoenix. Gloco, what's up, man? Good to see you. Sparrow, ten percent off. I'm telling you, man. This is a this is a this is a, a game changer, dude. This is a game changer. KPL, nice. Oh God, there's the Kubies. All right, Isaiah, I made it to the Kubies. I made it to the Kubies. Anteater, honestly, not a bad knife. Kind of like it. Oh baby, we got the bluff in PP. In piss, yes we do. Zachariah Ott, dude, Blade Bin Shop just opened. There's the link. Code Tristate ten gets you ten percent off everything. We're just scrolling through. We're just scrolling through the uh, inventory, bro. This one is tempting. You can't even buy this direct from Kubi right now. I'm pretty sure it's sold out. What in the shit, man? What in the short? All the cubes. All the cubes. Zachariah, we'll, we're going to look at that. I just didn't know this was happening today, so I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm a giddy little schoolboy. I'm just a giddy little schoolboy right now. Kubi Hyde, Banger, Hyperion, always looked really cool. More PP, the Mizo. Dude, the painted one? I love this one. <laughs> it's the McDonald's Happy Meal Edition. 52 bucks. Code try state 10 and you can sizzle. Bruh. Bruh. Everybody in the chat, their credit score is going to go so high. We're all going to have 850 credit scores. We're all going to be broke, but we'll at least have 850 credit scores <laughs> from sizzling everything ever. Kubi button lock. I did not know they even did button locks. I've never handled a Kubi button lock. Slow rollout? What do you mean a slow rollout? You're telling me it's going to get better? Tell me it's going to get bigger? Jesus Christ. My heart can't take it, man. I did not know Kubi was doing button locks. Kubi Royal? We've only given away like four of those. Great knife. Sailor's pretty cool. I like that. The Tidious? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. The uh, Vagrant? Love. The Piss Vagrant. There it is. Fook Deuce will love you, dude. Thanks for chilling with us. There it is. I think everybody in the chat should have a Piss Kubi Vagrant. If you're going to have Ultim in your collection, get a Kubi, make it your budget beater, and just live. Be Kun Woos! Be, become one with the Piss. Dude, you can buy Kun Woos on sale. 10% off. Get you a Django. Get you a Pulsar XT. Get you an, uh, a Tau 2. Get you a Zen. Code try say 10. Where else can you get a Kunwu for 10% off? We got Leong Maz. Same story. Where else can you get Leong Maz for 10% off? I don't think anywhere. Uh, Low Country Hillbilly. Just use that link. Just use that link, big dog. It'll take you right there. Damn, dude. I'm overwhelmed. My, like, head is spinning. <laughs> My head is fucking spinning right now. Some lion steals. By some, I mean several pages. Right, that's the other thing. They'll like they're always out of stock. On uh, on uh, White Mountain, that's the other issue, and the fact that White Mountain, like, yeah, they give out discount codes, but they don't do affiliate programs. You know. So they don't pay content creators for all the free marketing. To be fair, I mean, I make zero, like no money off of affiliate links, but it all helps. It all helps. Dude, the Goliath. Uh, Dan, weren't you carrying one of these at Blade Show? It's massive. Paul Badigian. Yeah, dude, this is the new uh, Blade Bin shop. So it's, it's like a retail website. So they have their secondary market and now this is the new retail website. The Goliath is a lot of knife for under 100 bucks. That's crazy. Fucking crazy. We got Medfords. Sure, you can get 10% off Medfords now. Go for it. Fucking go for it. 
What? I did not know. Oh, that one's an auto. Okay. I was like, is that a manual button lock? Holy shit. Sure, if you guys are in the market for Medford, this is the place to buy them. 10% off. Code TRISTATE10. I'm going to hammer that into your brains. You'll never forget. Uh, Anax. There you go. Save 45 bucks off an Anax if you've ever been in the market. Uh, PP Microtech. Yeah, all day. $700 though, but still. How easy is the Chad to sharpen and has anyone tried? So, I... Um, I have tried to hone it on a ceramic cone, and I've tried to strop it. Nothing really happened. It's like as hard as the ceramic. <laughs> so I'm sure with diamond stones, it's not all that hard, but I, I haven't tried to like really sharpen mine yet. Kathleen Smith. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. I haven't tried to reprofile my Chad yet. I might. I have the new Pro uh, pro Professional Precision Adjust. Um, and it just chews through everything I've thrown at it. So I'm sure it'll be just fine. As long as you have good stones, you'll be all right. <laughs> Robo Stevio, do it. Do it. We got Midgard's Messers, dude. Oh! Uh, we don't have any of the folders, but we have some of the big boys in here. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I figured. I figured, Andrew. I have total self-control. I have total self-control. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure. Knock on wood. Me too. Sure do. MKMs. Blah, blah, blah. Not a big MKM guy. Ow, something's in my eye. Please send help. Send a doctor. Ow. We got O-lights. Shit, dude. You can just... Eat. It's a one-stop shop. And O-knife. It's a one-stop shop. 10,000 EDC items to choose from. I have this one. I love it. And I have the original, the little, I think well, a black one, i3e maybe. I don't know. I do love my O lights. Cheap, affordable, take a beating, and they just keep on shining. Uh, Ian has one of these. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Oh, God. Um, uh, Isaiah has the Perrin 2. I love this flashlight. Isaiah, you still have that, right? I love the Perrin 2. Dude, they have everything. They have everything. We're only in the O's, for fuck's sakes. What are these, cocktail mixers? What's going on here? Ontario? Ow. Ontario, Ontario. All work and no blade binge makes Mike a doll boy. I, I couldn't agree more. That's wild. What in the hell are you? Stainless frame lock. D2, $34. I like the canted angle of the blade, but I can't imagine it's all that good. Just a thought. Just maybe my professional opinion. I'm fucking, dude. Ontario rats. You know I've never even handled an Ontario rat. You know, I've never even touched one. Isn't that wild? That was like the ultimate hype budget knife when I first got into knives like four or five years ago. I mean, I've always been into knives, but when I like really dove into the EDC hobby... We got pelican cases? Bro, you can just... Uh, uh, we got panias. Ah. We got we got panias. Where's where's Chuck it when you need him? The Sicario, the Alacron, in stock. Code Trice 10 saves you $31. Dude, I'm so bricked up right now. I'm so... I'm... Uh, Whoa. You have no idea. Currently about to open a box that contains my new lame... Uh, I almost read that as labia. Sorry. Lamia, I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Dude, that's how I felt when my prototype arrived. 
when you guys see that video, whenever I decide to release it, I am shaking. I'm like, my voice is quivering. I was like on the verge of tears. And so I get it. I get it, dude. I get it. Fucking buy Pena. 10% off. Crazy. Fucking crazy, man. Uh, uh, piranha? Pimp knives! Oh, dude, they have the Kodiak. They got the Spartan, which is badass. They have the Titan. Bruh. What? What? Dude, this is such a fucking game changer. Protech, Godson, they only have the one Protech, which is kind of a bummer, but I hope they get more. Damn, dude. PMP user two. Fuck. <laughs> we got the Q we got some QSPs cooking too. Don't worry. Damn. Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> All the penguins ever made. The penguin slip joint. Nice. Fucking nice. Interesting. Some real steals. So, uh, this, this was designed by the same guy that did, uh, fuck, what do I do with it? Mom? What do I do with my new knife? Oh, it's right here, right in front of me. Same guy that designed the Arcona Buran. Did, uh, did the, uh, the real steel burns. I kind of need one. That was my nickname for a few years there. What's up, Burns? Old Burnside. All the real steels. Um. Damn, dude. Six inch whetstones? Nice. I got a six inch, I got a six inch whetstone right now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Real Steel Luna, the Pathfinder. Do they have the f the Real Steel Phasma? These are really cool. Uh, they have the Rocket. I believe same again, same designer. Bro, bro, all the Real Steels, all of them. We got Rayots. We got Rayots. Whoa. Bruh. We got Rayots. We got Rayots. Just a handful, but the Gent 9 and the T3000 sign me up. And the T4000. Holy shit. Damn. We got Revos. They reached out and they wanted to work with me a long time ago. And I was like, I don't really like any of your knives. <laughs> was my response i was like i can't really do what i do we got ray lights no shit uh reich oh fuck dude we got reichs we got reichs we got rough riders too sick fucking thick dude reeds <laughs> reeds oh no we're gonna have t oh, 10 pages of rough rider incoming Dude, my dingling has felt funny for the past hour. Are you kidding me? God, there's that crazy... It's called the Coal Miner. Okay. Dude, this one's sick. It's like a liner lock slip joint for $15. It's honestly a really good knife. If you want a big as fuck, uh, cheap as shit uh, <laughs> slip joint, grab one of these. They're really cool. Damn, son. Ah, Jesus saves. There you go, Marty. I know your Christmas present. I know your Christmas present, Marty. You're getting a purple cross. <laughs> You're getting the purple cross knife. Um. Wow. 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 Drink water. What's up, dude? Good to see you, my, my friend. Come on. Get me out of the Rough Riders. Come on. What else we got? Oh, that's pretty. Wow, well, that's pretty. They got the foot. They got the boot knife. The the leg knife. 
So many Rough Riders. So many. So many. Oh god, so many Rough Riders. There it is. That's the one I have. No, I have the this one. Similar to that one. Stashy McStash face. Uh, that's not a bad looking little knife. I'm, I, don't, I don't mind that. Oh my god, how many Rough Riders? Help. Oh, here we go. We got rakes. Nice. Dynamite budget knives. Very cool, very cool. My leg! <laughs> oh, my leg. Very, very cool. That's a good looking knife. Rake makes some good stuff. So, so cheap. And honestly, they're one of the best companies doing 14C. Like, they do the best work with 14C. Still to this day. We got charades. Probably gonna have 10 pages of charades, right? That's my guess. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh! I lied. I lied. Trade, trade, trade. Trade, trade, trade. Sin cut. Okay. We got sinkets. Sinkets? Nice. Like this one. Uh, the glide stride's kind of a clink. It sounds like... It reminds me of Astroglide. Sounds like lube is what it sounds like. This the glide the glide strike. <laughs> Hit her with the glide strike. Zero bites. I'm sorry, you don't feel well, man. I'll give you I'll give you a little kiss. There you go. You feel better now? All the sin cuts. The entire model lineup, dude. Sick. Good lord to when you get to the tops knives. All right, sick. Sogs? We got soggies. I'm feeling soggy. I mean, I am. I mean, I am. <laughs> XHP, by the way, on the uh, LTE. If you ever want to play around with uh, XHP, it's $200, though. There are better options. Better options. It glides, then it strikes. Then it strikes. We got the Call of Duty knives. Nice, nice. Southern Grind made an OTF? How am I just now hearing about this? But we do have Southern Grinds. Uh, we do, in fact. What the fuck? I've only ever known about the Spider Monkey. I did have not heard of the Penguin, the Quill, and the OTF. Had no idea. We got Spartans, dude. Spartan. Both of these are in XHP. Um, sick. And spider? We got an amalgam. We got, uh, we got spideys. Not a ton. We got the Gale Bradley. We got the Canis. We got the Caribbean. Both blade shapes. Uh, oh. Uh. Where can you find spider codes on sale? I'll give you a hint. Nowhere. White Mountain Eyes. That's pretty much it. The Drunken? 10% off. Saves you $60. Capish. What have you seen that it's cheaper and or better than the Lec? Uh, at two fifty, dude, I still think the Lec's like one of the best buys out there right now. Um, what else we got? We got a fart load of Spideys, the Golden Stone, the Akuchi Kuchi Koo, and the. Sh I love their kitchen knives. I have this one, the Fun Fu Funayuki. Funayuki. Lil Temperance? But do they have the K390 one? They got the little native Warney. I'm um, horny for that Warney. Lil Temperance, there it is. K390. Code try say 10. 10% off. There's your link. What? 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 Oh my god. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Wow. I'm so aroused. Manix XL. Got a little McB. Chillin'. Maximate. Maximate pair three. S110V pair three. S110V PM2. I'm so bricked up. Like, I'm gonna have to consult a doctor if this erection lasts longer than four hours. Code 10 state try? No, no, no. 
No, no, no. We got the Ronin 2. We got the Maximate Sage 1. F fuck yeah. We have the Maximate Sage 5 Compression Lock. Fuck yeah. We got uh, full serrate shamans, unfortunately, only. Uh, Spidey Chef, Smock, Stovepipe. Fuck yeah. Even though there's one for 175 on uh, on the secondary market. Um, wow. Dude, these UK pin knives are sick. Loved those. Loved that little thing. SRM will Sanrin Moo action? No complaints, really. Sanrin Moo makes a damn fine knaf. Steel wheel cut jack for 40 bucks. Talk about a great budget knife. All right. The Steel Wheel Fjord. I, I am swimming down in the fjord. Would you like to come down there with me? The hot springs are open for the spring. <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Uh, Streamlights? Uh, absolute fart load of them. More? Mo, what are you? What's my lumen output? Oh, only 550? <laughs> I need 55,000. Do you understand? Superlatives, dude. The Piranha sick. That that was Kara's second pickup at uh, at Blade Show Texas was the Piranha. Adorable little thing. A lot of fun to play with. The Matador's huge. I had no idea. Um, but we got superlatives. Sick. Surefire. Tactile Bear. 10% off. Tactile Maverick, we're missing we're missing um pictures, but the Maverick, Ember, and a couple of rock walls. Could try say 10. Fuck yes, dude. It's so nice to have a shop where I can say, hey, everything's 10% off, and I can just send people there. I don't have to be like, oh, well, I think that's in stock on this website, or maybe it's in stock on this website. I can just be like, I guarantee you it's here. Use code try say 10. You're welcome. You know what I mean? A Lego. See, now this is my kind of bead. That's actually really cool. Would I put it on anything? No. Maybe a necklace. <laughs> dude, Terrain 365s? Fuck yeah, dude. Teravantium. We got Teravantium on lockdown. Sick. I think the best looking one is this guy. I don't know. That one's pretty nice. The Otter, but... I don't know. I thought Nar. Tops? Uh, I'm so sorry. Mrs. Uh, Kathleen says your accent. But you can suck a... F <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't talk to me, dude. It sounds better without the voice changer, all right? Is Kathleen from Norway? Does she know better than me? I think not. Unless she is from Norway. In which case, wow! Shut up. That's crazy. Nice, Paul. Yeah, dude. The I3Ts are sick. Didn't know Tops was doing folders, but okay. Dude, they have so many Tops. Oh my god. Slingshot? Check. The Tirrit? I didn't see anything new when I was at Blade Show Texas from Superlative. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Tactical Comb? Yeah, bro. Sign me up. Sign me up. Whoa! Boomerang Sword? Boomerang Sword. We're going to call that a Boomerang Sword. That's sick. Love that. Love that. Vault cases? Hell yeah. Highly recommendable. Especially if you travel a lot and you want to take a handful of different knives with you. Great. Excellent option. Michael Garrett, thanks for the sub, man. We got we got Victorinox stuff too. All this what are you? Uh oh, little blade safe thingies. Nice. Nice. Oh. You guys like how I'm just panic scrolling and just I'm just soaking it all in. 
I'm just soaking it all up. Oh! Cyber Tool, Deluxe Tinker, yeah, yeah, yeah. The question is, do they have the Swiss champ? The king. The king. I'm a Swiss champ guy. It's my go-to. Love the little floral knives. We talked about those on Tuesday. A cheese grater. Damn. Oh, we're almost at the end, guys. We're in the V's. It's a fancy-ass toenail clipper. Damn, boy. What am I looking up? I'm looking up the superlative tyrant. 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 Are you sure about that? How, did I spell it right, Mom? Oh, yeah, I played with this at Blade Show, Texas. Yeah, holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, that's, that's a lot. I played with this at Texas. It's fun. It's way bigger than you expect. It's fucking massive. Fucking massive. Not even phased by the massive 2600? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What did I miss? What did I miss? Mom? Was it the giant cleaver thing? I can't find it. I give up. Yeah, they were selling them at Blade Show, Texas, but they sure as shit weren't $475. I can tell you that right now. I need a good peeler. Julian. Ah, Julien. Oui. We got extra tweezers. We got extra toothpe toothy pickies. Damn, son. Is the rest of this just all Victorinox? Ah, dude, the Swiss Tool Spirit X Plus. Do they have the Spirit X Plus? That's the one I have. There it is. This is the one I have. Hell yeah, dude. I love it. It's my go-to multi-tool. Love it to death. Oh, ow, pain. Love it to death. I added a, uh, I added a T6 and a T8 to mine. A couple Weeha bits, but I love this thing. love it was on a stand there it is <gasps> the ooh, the xxl holy shit dude the ultimate the ultimate holy grail why am i tempted by this i could never carry it All right, okay, so you said the 2600 duplicate. What do you mean? See, it doesn't exist, man. What are you talking about? It's not here. It's not real. You're imagining things. <laughs> Neck knife. Yeah, <laughs> if you want back problems, sure, go for it. Um, I like the black one. The black one's sick. Um, I think, I swear to God, is it just going to be all Victorian? Oh, we got Vosteeds. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Uh, we got the Chipmunk. We got the Corgi. We got the Gator, the Griffin, the Big Daddy Nightshade, Buttonlock Raccoon. We have the Buttonlock Raccoon, no Buttonlock Raccoon Cleaver, but we do have the Axis Lock Cleaver, which is my favorite version of the Raccoon. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It was $2,600? High to low. Whole, oh, it's a display stand. I gotcha. It it just spins. It's got a motor in the bottom and it just spins. That's all it does. This thing. 
Sorry, man. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a giant display. I kind of... This looks like it's metal. Is it a work? I'm, I'm, I feel like I've seen these before. Don't the blades like fold in and out and stuff too? <laughs> All right. If everybody in here donates twenty dollars, we can buy one. <laughs> it can just be in the background spinning. Oh fuck! Oh. Whoa. Oh. We got the RS Chaos Code Trice A10, ten percent off. Fuck yeah, dude. Everybody should have one of these. Pick your version. Pick your poison. So free if you purchase. All right, sick, dude. That's worth it. So we got to buy $120 Victorinoxes. All right, we can do that. <laughs> we got Wheeze, too. We got the Baloo. We got the Diatomic. We got the Envisage. We got the Hyphen. Fuck yeah. Probably my favorite uh, recent Wii release is the Hyphen. Big fan. I like the Makani a lot. That one's growing on me. Mini Malice Button Lock. Mini Buster Frame Lock. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, I'm so aroused. Riff Raff's a cool little knife. We got the Solid. I hate it, but it's there. Starhawk, you know, little chode of a knife. Vision R, the high, the high, uh, high flute and pimped out version. We got Wesson knives. Not a big fan of Wesson, but whatever, you know, not for everybody. ZT, freaking Magna Cut, O5, whatever. I can't remember what it's called. I'm free if you give me two thousand dollars worth of Swiss Army knives. All right, don't tempt me with. The, look, don't look now. Don't you tempt me with a good time. We have we have a uh, Papa Tri State's Grail knife and it's cheap, dude. And I can get ten percent off. Fuck yeah, I know where I'm doing Christmas shopping this year. That's it, dude. Holy shit. Holy fuck, dude. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Here's the link one more time. Holy crap. Unreal. Code Tri-State 10 across the board. And obviously they're going to be adding more as show season commences. Wow. Fuck, dude. You know? I am... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Air Velocity, what's up, my dude? That's wild, man. Oh, they have a cheaper version of this? G10? Nice. It's a cool knife. Um, weird. It's kind of hard to get used to, but it's a cool knife. I know. I know. I just scrolled 10,000 items, dude. Kind of a big deal. That's why I'm the best. That's why I'm the goat when it comes to knife shopping. Kind of a big deal. Somebody said there's some stuff on DLT, huh? We can check out another site now. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they got the Delta. Small and cozy. All right, nothing new. Fox Knives Jupiter. Is that the flipper one? I think I, we've checked it out before. Didn't you say there was an S? Fuck. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, we saw this the other day. Yeah, the Tiffany Blue S90V. I just don't need another pair two or PM2. I have my, uh, my PM2 Warning and XHP, which is like the perfect PM2. I'm good. And it's got custom OG scales on it. But if you're in the market for a PM2, hello. Cole has many leather bound books and smells of rich mahogany. It's true. It's true. Fox Knives Jupiter. Did they have it on here? No jupe. Wow. 
why does that say Boker? Boker sells these. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's pretty cool. They, they, they have one that's a flipper that I really want to check out. Yeah, that's a cool looking knife. I like that a lot. I like the blade shape a lot more. That's pretty sick, nasty. We just, I think we just looked at this the other day too. I, yeah, you guys are right. I, we didn't see a single bench made. Fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? Fuck them. Uh, no. Sale? Anything new in the sale section? 80, 20.5s. Bunch of them. Nope, nothing new here. Moving right along. Um, why is my cam? Why am I like so off to the side of my camera? There you go. Uh, oh, uh, why, why, why? Dude, I worked up an appetite scrolling all that. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Daily deal, Weiss Energy for 215. Is that a deal? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, they got NCC knives. Very expensive. Woof. Uh, we got the Amphibian. Here's a Blade HQ link for you. Um, and the Matrix. Which I need to fucking sell. Oh, Urban EDC. That's right. I totally forgot. Totes forgot, my guy. Oh, that's adorable. That's just adorable. Isn't there a special page for it? What's on sale? How do I find what's on sale? Is everything 30% off? I know the code is... Here's I, Where's my Urban link? Oh, shit. I don't have it out. I do have an Urban EDC link down below. So if you are going to buy anything, please use my link. But they got the Striga and the Sharpshooter. Nice. Alacron. But you can get that... If, if the Alacron's 30% off. Damn, son. Nice. Is everything up for grabs? Yeah, I have the email too. Hold on. Hold the damn phone. Um. Urban EDC. Spring cleaning is live. Ugh. Here you go. This is the stuff that's on sale. Okay. So we have, I think these are the knife modders ones. The knife modders did these. Yeah, these are all done by the knife modders. One item left. The bark's really cool. So 30% off. Damn, dude. Damn, boy. 30% off the Maverick. That's a great deal. 30% off the Plexus. Hell yeah. The Basilisk, sure. Modified Techno 2s, absolutely. Another great deal on a Maverick. OG Ice Pick, which is a really cool knife. Uh, the Dutchman. Fucking Baby Barlow. The little high-end fidget boy. The Striga is, all, is part of the sale. Okay. Hell yeah, they have the Anso uh, custom pry things. Very cool. Bunch of beads. It's a nice wallet. $69, my favorite price. Really sick Hank. Those are sick. Refined, 30% off. Save you, so what does it save you? Nine bucks. This collab made me laugh so hard. Um, like it's the same product. They just put Sagaiha in the bottle. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, pipe cleaning kit. Okay. Sick. 
I think the baby Barlow's a solid pickup. I think the Dutchman's a great pickup at 30% off. Uh, the the Ice Light is sick. The Maverick, whichever version, solid pickup. 30% off the Plexus is an amazing pickup. Same with the Basilisk. Same with the uh, Striga. I think those are good buys if you're interested. Um, you know, $700 for a pen. If you're going to get KPL, just go to knifepivotlube.com. Use the code TRISTATE10. I make a little bit of money. I make some spare change, and you save 10%. So if you're going to do it, just buy direct. Their shipping's crazy fast, too. That's wild. That's how much my like Italian fountain pen cost. And it's got 18 karat gold and rhodium-coated platinum highlights and shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> they deleted it and made another one. Nice. KPL that smells like donuts? Uh, uh, um, I have some. I have some. Oh, dude, I gotta pee. I got my bladder all worked up. Uh, what did I do with it? By the way... I may do a super limited uh, patch drop sometime next week. I have like 10 patches left. Let me know if you're interested. Um, where's my lube? Where's my lube? Oh god, I'm so fucking full of piss. I don't know what to do with my lubricants. Where's my lubrication? Oh, it's right here. So this stuff... Oh, God. This stuff from Crispy Donut Community, I don't think it's made by KPL, but it literally... It literally smells like blueberry icing on a donut, dude. It smells great. I haven't even opened it yet. It's called donut oil. Oh, shit. I can't open it. Ow, my hand. Ow! I can't open it. Ow. Ow! Dude, this is not a child safety lock. This is a tri-state safety lock. <laughs> my fingies. Under the bed, you will find the lube. Jesus. Dude. What the shit? I can't open it. Oh my god! I can't open it. But I promise you, it smells like it smells like donuts. Fuck. Bummer, dude. Bummer, dude. Cole, did you send anyone else the video of him using the litter box? No, just me. Who used the litter box? Dad? God, my skin's so dry. Uh, ATX, what's up, man? Good to see you. Iron Butterfly, uh, or Butter Knife, under the... <laughs> yeah. Probably next to the tissues. You need a patch? So it's a two-pack for $20. Too much sausage grease. I'm actually not all that greasy today. I don't know what the issue is. Wah. ADHD hobby guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But yeah, there you go. Uh, Urban ADC links down below if you want to scroll that. The code is spring clean. All one word, all caps. Uh, the big the big thing we, we need to take away from this live stream is that Blade Bin Shop is open. And... Uh, it's wild. Code try state 10 at Blade Bin Shop. 10% off site wide. They have an official donut flavor too? Interesting. Uh... Wow. Great, great typing, Tri State. Blade Heck. Blad Heck. Ooh, Null Knives Ghoul at 8 p.m. tonight. I totally forgot. It is the 7th. There you go. Do not forget. If you're uh, if you want in on that pre-order, the uh, the null knives ghoul is opening up tonight. Not enough titty milk, I know, dude. Can I just type in lube? Sure can. There. Okay. All right. Is it really scented though? It doesn't doesn't like say it is. Yeah, definitely need more titty milk. That should get delivered today. 
That Synergy's a great knife. I've heard it's amazing, but I don't know. I can't get past the looks of it. You know what I mean? Can't get past the way that fucking thing looks. It's just meh. It's meh, you know? It's meh. Sorry. But that's our time, gang. Uh, me and Kara both forgot that we have dinner plans with uh, with her folks tonight. So uh, I, we, I gotta take a shower and wash my holes, if you know what I mean. Um, but that is it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, for hanging out. Everybody that donated. Um, here's that Blade Binge link one more time, just in case you forgot. Just in case you forgot. There it is. But that is it. I wish you all the best. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. It's always a blast. Always fun. What a wild, what a wild ride. Huh? The synergy? Uh, uh well, once I, I gotta get through this big box before I start taking donos again, or like loners, but I'll hit you up. Wash your holes. Um, I hope everybody has a dynamite day. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around this whole time, all hundred of you, on a on a random Thursday afternoon. It's been my pleasure. It's been my honor serving with you. Godspeed. Get out of here.